A. A. Test. Test, test. One, two, one, two. Test, test, test. Do you guys hear it when I like move my mic arm? It's so like crickety. Happy. S oh, wait, wrong part of the song. Hello, test, test. Can you guys hear me? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, hello, gamers. Man, thank you for gifting out five subs. I appreciate that. Thank you. If you got gifted a sub, please make sure to say thank you to your sub dad. I appreciate the ad free viewing experience and the emotes. Welcome in, gamers. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, let me let me say thank you to all the subs. Um. Akatsu Kispi, thank you so much for the tier one for 12 months, gamer. That's crazy. For me, thank you for the prime sub for two months. Um, Coella, Cloella, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Welcome to the sub gang. Uh, and Vanna, thank you for gifting out five subs. If you gotta give that a sub, just, uh, close your mouth. What? What? I haven't even started the luxury redeem, and, and Sylvia already has already has mouth open ready to consume when when I haven't even begun to acknowledge the fact that there was a redeem. I I like I didn't because I wasn't even looking at the redeem section on like OBS and and like all of a sudden all of a sudden I look over and I see little I see, I see open mouths in chat. I'm like why are there why is the mouth open? Close your mouth. Close your mouth. You guys didn't learn any manners. Don't chew with your mouth open. <laughs> um uh, no, 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 Celis, thank you for wasting 5,000 channel points on absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Emerald St. Pavlov would be proud. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. <laughs> thank you for wasting 500 channel points on absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. Literally wasting all those channel points on garbage. Are you not ashamed of yourself for being a literal piece of shit? You are nothing. You are pathetic. You're a literal freaking degenerate. Can you open your mouths right now? Even though they've already been open. Say, ah. Uh, say, ah. Uh. <laughs> pathetic. Close your mouths, you little shits. Hi guys, what's up? Good morning, uh, good evening, whatever time of the day it is. Sketa! Hey gamers, what's up? What's up you guys? Uh, today is Thursday. It's also gonna be our last stream of the week. Uh, no Saturday stream this week. Uh, your girly pop is going away for the weekend, so I will not be home until Tuesday, but we'll still have a Tuesday stream. We'll still have Tuesday stream, so we're, we're still we're, we're still gonna be that. But your, your, your girl's gonna get a little bit of a break, you know, until until Tuesday. Tuesday, and it? I'm sorry I missed last stream. Say, how many Yon Chings did you get? Zero. Zero. We got none. None. Nada. Not a singular Yon Ching to be seen. My account lived another day. We did get debated extremely hard by a Clara Light Cone, though. I saw destruction. Why are you guys why are you guys licking? Why is there so many lick modes, bro? You good? Put your tongue away. You're gonna get dry tongue. Oh, Kafka's on screen. Oh, uh, maybe I should put Jinglu. Let me take that real quick. Um, what are we doing today, gamers? What are we What are we doing today? Um, I okay. I I wish I wish to do the um. I wish to do the new quest. I I've not seen any spoilers. But, I know that Starch is involved. I understand and know Starch is, is, has a very prevalent role in, in the upcoming quest. I don't know what happens exactly. I just know... Yeah. What is this crit rate? Okay, I don't want to... Okay. I don't want to sound like... Like, um, actually. But... This is a perfectly good crit ratio for an ice character when their literal traces enhance crit rate. Still lower than mine. Shut up! Their traces enhance crit rate. I don't need to have crit rate on a character. Yeah, she gets 50% from her talent. Yeah, 
So ice units don't need a lot of crit. 40% is optimal, but you know what? We're dealing with what we have right now. I don't have the, um, I, I need to change this set out. I don't have a good one uh, for her ideal set just yet. So she just stole from Yanqing and we're dealing with it. Um, when she hits, she hits hard. That's all that matters, okay? <laughs> Max talent gives 50%. Yeah, so it's more like an 80% crit ratio. So like when she hit, she hit hard. That's all that matters. But yeah, what, what was I going to say? Guys, you, you distracted me. How? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Danger. <laughs> Why is she still talking? I left the screen. I left the screen. Why are you still talking? Um, what was I saying? End of the day, crit is always 50 50. Yeah. Did they change the light cone art? No, 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 no. It's a visual bug. Don't worry about it. It's actually the other one. It's actually this one. It's that one. This is the, uh,. This is the light cone art. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's just a, it's a visual. It's, just, it's, it's a visual bug. <laughs> don't worry about it. You can alter between the two of them. <laughs> the way I had that ready in the right spot, the, the, the way it was, it was there. It was waiting there for me to click it again. Oh, now the lick emotes come back. Okay. All right. I see you guys. I see you guys. Hi guys. It's me, your favorite Honkai Star Wheel streamer. And if I'm not shut up and don't tell me <laughs> don't disagree with me. I don't care if you think it. Just don't tell me. But, um... Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, we're gonna play the story quest today. Or the Trailblaze quest, which is essentially... I don't know what that the equivalent is. But we're gonna be doing that today. And then we are going to... What else are we gonna do today? We are... We are... We are... What else? We might start the Pokemon event. How... Hey, hey. Question. How long is the Trailblaze quest? How long did it take you guys? Just tell me that. And then I'll convert it to my time. If it took you guys over an hour, it's taking us the entire stream. I'm, I'm going to be totally honest. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fully, fully transparent. If it took you guys two hours, it's taking me four hours. At a minimum. Is it? Okay, another question. Another question. Is it worth being a main channel video? Gamers. Gamers. Is it good enough content to make it to the main YouTube channel? Yes. Yeah. Probably. Will I be able to edit it overnight? <laughs> Will I be able to get it out by tomorrow morning? <laughs> is, is another question I have for you guys. <laughs> that's a you question because <laughs> i'm leaving tomorrow which means i need to i need to have it ready by tomorrow to upload <laughs> not if you want sleep i can sacrifice sleep that's fine i had a lot of coffee today just edit fast Have I done Jingdu's companion quest yet? No. So, okay, here's the plan, you guys. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Here's the plan, gamers. We'll do starch today. And then, um, most likely... Okay. All right, you guys. I think Minori's event in Project Sakai ends on Tuesday. So, I'm sorry. I'm taking away a Star Rail day. And, and we're gonna be... We're gonna be playing... We're going to be playing Project Sakai on Tuesday while I grind out the last the few hours of the event. I want you guys to understand that. So like, so, so Tuesday, we're probably not going to play uh, Star Rail. I'll, I'll make it up by, on Saturday. We'll play Star Rail. Uh, so that way we'll have like two, two Saturdays of, of, you know, gotcha content. But, but if the Minority event ends on Tuesday, I'm going to be streaming the last few hours of that event. Just because I need to grind to top 50. Right now, I'm ranked number 39. All right, 39 out of all the players right now. I'm 39. I, I listen, I'm going to be away this weekend. I don't know how I'm going to keep grinding to stay in the top 100. Hopefully I'm already at like 4 million points. Hopefully it's enough to keep me in the top 100 so I can grind my ass off for the last bit. But yeah. Oh, is chat not on screen? Wait, wait, yeah, wait, where's chat? Huh? Chat? Where are you guys? Chat? What if I refresh? Okay, 
okay, okay, you guys are back, you guys are back. Yeah, you guys scattered and never came back, apparently. Um, what was I saying? Um, okay, you guys are back, you guys are back. So, we'll play, we'll play Starch tonight, or today. Hopefully, is the Jinglu quest really that good? Is that one worth main channel? I don't think I have time to play both tonight, though. How long is it? How long is it? Is it long? How long? Hello, Verth! Welcome in, gamer. Thank you for the tier one! 20 months! Is it short? Sh an out? Oof. Oof. I don't think I have time. I don't think there's time today. Okay. So, I'm, guys, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. No, I don't think there's enough time. Because I'm like, okay, what if, what if, gamers, we played Starch tonight. I stay up all night editing, all right? I post it. In the morning, we play, <laughs> I stream in the morning, and we, and we play Jing Liu's Quest for like an hour. I quickly edit it and post it online. <laughs> It's, I'm gonna be away from my computer this weekend, so I'm not gonna be able to post anything this weekend. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think how to min-max content right now, you guys, all right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think how to min-max to, like, the nth degree. We should do Jing Lu's companion quest first so that the Bella Box story is going to be straight and no cutbacks. Wait, what does that mean? Lost your 50-50, then you pulled Jing Lu on a single right after, then you got her light cone and a temple. You're welcome. It's because you're in this chat right now. Yeah, I'm out here working hard for you guys. Speed run, don't edit it. Okay, guys, when I say edit, truly, it's not that much editing. It's more or less, I'm cutting out, like, let's say if I get, like, a sub, like, noise alerts, I usually cut out. And um, if I feel like I said something problematic that would get me canceled on YouTube, I usually cut that out as well. And I usually just trim it down a bit so it's not like 12 hours long. I, I, I usually cut out the unimportant dialogue or I cut out like uh, like the fighting because you don't need the fighting. You don't need to watch the fight. Yeah, noise alerts and some of the longer, longer, uh, longer tangents. Yeah, that's usually what I... Uh, that's like... <laughs> I'm not that problematic, you guys. Come on. Come on. I'm not that bro. Yes, I have some hot takes. No, I'll keep in Himeko Slander. You need some for comments section, you know? Yeah, I understand the difference in audience between YouTube and Twitch, so I know what I can say on both platforms. Like, you guys, over there, they can't even handle me saying clone cest isn't, like, bad. Cutting out the four hours of Yuri discussion. No, I'll, I'll keep that in. I'll keep it in. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just saying, if you have a clone, it's not incest because it's a clone. Clones don't exist in real life. So, like, do whatever you want with the clone. self cest also is not bad because self cest cannot happen. It cannot happen. If it cannot happen in real life, it is not problematic. <laughs> not this again. <laughs> People get people get mad about everything. Okay, like listen, listen. The worst the worst platform is Twitter by far. You can't say any I will not speak an opinion on twitter.com. I refuse to say my any I will like fan art and that is it. You will you will not hear me actually state an opinion on Twitter. Um YouTube, I'll slip it in after the 5 minute mark cuz no one if you're watching that long, you like me. <laughs> So nothing problematic will happen the first five minutes. And if, then if I'm going to say an opinion, it'll be after that. Because, like, that person at least likes me enough to get to this this moment. Twitch, you guys have to like me. This is long-form content. <laughs> the reason you guys are here is because you agree with me. <laughs> What's the like? That's the like code. Hi, Rokoko. Go. How are you, cutie? Isn't it late for you? Wait, why are you awake? Isn't it, like, hella late for you? I'm, um, actually, I'm a hate watcher. Who is we? You guys all agree with every single opinion I've ever said. If you don't exist with Mina, you don't exist. Exactly. Ken, thank you for gifting us up to Rokoko. Thank you. It's 1 a.m. and you're thriving on post-move caffeine. Oh my god, yes, rest up. Your house looks amazing. Is it okay to tag you in fan art? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Uh, people already tagged me on fan art. It's so, f okay, guys. 
there was one specific fan art i don't want to go find it right now dead ass i got tagged in it by like seven different people and then three of my friends sent me the same fan art like like people who like are like not within the same friend groups just like three separate like one of my friends literally sent me like uh the same exact image and then i also got tagged in it like a shit ton by you guys <laughs> no it wasn't spicy it wasn't spicy uh, I didn't give you a polling today, but I hope you got you. Thank you! And no polls today. We're just gonna do some story stuff, but I appreciate you. Go sweep! You have friends. Um. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. She's in the way. Hold on. <laughs> She's ruining my dramatic effect. What do you mean? What do you mean you have friends? What do you, what do you mean by that? Huh? Huh, punk? Yeah, I have friends. Why? Why wouldn't I have friends? I'm a, I'm a semi-likable individual. I, I have, I have friends. Is that, uh, sorry, am I not relatable anymore? Am I not a relatable streamer? Cause I said I had friends. Paid act, no, you guys are the paid actors. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, put that, I'll, put, I'll put that back. So you guys, you, know. you guys are getting paid. Not the council, bro. The council died. The council died. It was definitely the Navia Chlor. I will not say what the art was of. It was nice art, though, nonetheless. Listen, you guys, I see a lot of art. Um, I simply don't retweet a lot, especially not, like, the, the like, like, if it's, like, particularly uh, sexual, I will not RT it just on main because I would like my Twitter to be safe for brands specifically to look at. But if you go into my likes, if you, if you go into my likes, um... For the most part, it's fine. But there's some stuff. Like, because sometimes I just don't know what account I'm on. And, like, you know, usually it's just me liking, like, like off tweets or something. But then, like, there's the occasional, it's occasional fan art that I just don't realize, like, who, who, like, what account I'm on when I'm liking it. And, you know. <laughs> Clip this is sent to a brand. No, 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 no. If anything, hey brands out there that would love to sponsor me. I would love to be sponsored, by the way. Um, as you can tell, I am a streamer for, for the people. By and for the people. I truly understand Twitch's demographic. And I can confirm that this community is prime demographics to be targeted ads. <laughs> Uh, uh, Dragon, thank you for wasting 5,000 channel points on absolutely nothing, you pathetic piece of shit. Literally wasting all those channel points on garbage. Are you not ashamed of yourself for being a literal waste of space? You are nothing. You are pathetic. You're a literal freaking degenerate. Can you open your mouth right now? Open it nice and wide. Ah... Uh... Uh, pathetic you just joined why are we opening mouths um don't worry about it don't worry about it man i hope no one i know is in real life watches my streams it's so embarrassing man god imagine like this is what i like streaming in front of people that's why i also ignore this redeem if i'm around other people you guys redeem it way too often and 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 you guys are just primed and ready to o to open your mouths. You know, you just like ah. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. If Navia was spitting in my mouth, I too would open wide. All right, let's Okay, we I think we've distracted a lot. We'll, we will we will we've distracted enough. We'll play we'll play the game. <clears throat> let's go do this real quick. She can't English. Wait, what did I say? Mina having friends is actually a downside in that redeem. I'm so sorry. I'm still getting used to streaming with other people, okay? Okay, I'm still getting used to it. But we've been doing better. We've been doing more collab streams and whatever. 
You wish you could be a trailblaze level 69 forever. I can't believe we're like almost at 70. That's kind of crazy. Considering the fact I've been, um, oh, I haven't, hold on. Oh no, my game crashed. Okay, we're back. Woo! Say that you love me. All right. Uh, let's do our dailies. I've not logged in today yet, so we'll go do that. I wonder if they're gonna raise the trailblaze levels. Um, like, are we gonna get more? Cause like, if I'm already hitting seventy a few months after um. Like the game's only been out since, what, April? April 25th? And I'm already almost at, like, cap. So, like... Um, I'm gonna need at least, like, 10 more levels. Alright, uh, 20, a Crimson Calyx. Is it Calyx or Calyx? We'll do Nihility in preparation for Gwynifen. I can't wait for her. Oh, I should've used Jinglu. It's fine. Time to say bye. God, this is so loud. This game is so loud. If they go the Honkai Impact way, then yes. If they go Genshin way, no. Could be either with this game. Time to say bye. Let the rest of us casuals get to 70. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What are your guys' uh, Trailblaze levels? You heard a clip. Hey, hey, where do we, do we, wait, have we, have, have we heard her voice already? Have we have we heard her? Oh my god, so many numbers in chat. To my okay, you guys are basically almost there. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. You guys are like, oh, let us filthy casuals get to 70. For Everyone's almost there. And you and you guys are complaining, saying that I'm being a whale here. Everyone's in the late 60s already. Okay, if you're like sub-level 50, like you're a new player. I hit like 50 in a week. But I also, like, was very unhealthy about this game in the beginning. I'm still unhealthy about this game. <laughs> Bro, I wish I could retire. I'm so tired. <laughs> Although, I feel like I would never truly retire from this. Just because I really like... I like streaming. You guys, the days I don't stream genuinely, like... I just kind of sit there. And I'm like... I'm like, what am I... What am I supposed to do now? Like... Like, what am I... Am I just, like, not supposed to stream? Like... <laughs> Like, go outside. I mean, I went outside today. It was, it was okay, I guess. I got coffee. That was nice. I appreciated that. Okay, I need money. Um, So we're gonna do a golden calyx. Oh, shit. We have to do... Hold on. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff we need to do. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, Hey, did anyone hear any rumors about what Gwynifen... Do we Do we know? Do we, do we hear any rumors about this? Uh, not rumors, uh, dreams. Anyone have any dreams about what? Uh, which one of these? Is this still Fantilia? Okay. Should be Fantilia? Okay. It's a yeah, new fire uh, ascension, which they did announce in the live stream, so we're allowed to talk about that, I think. I mean, this team just does so well. But I feel like I should use... Um, <laughs> I can replace you. Ha 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 ha. Can replace that little shit. I can replace him. Oh shit. Thank you. Uh, Feyruna, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. In. God, people always come in when I'm talking shit about Yanqing specifically. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Hi, hello. My name is Mina. I am a gotcha gamer. Uh, and right now we're, we're about to start the 1.3 or 1.4 story stuff. Uh, we have not started yet. I'm gonna do some dailies and weekly stuff first. But welcome in everyone. I hope you had an absolutely amazing stream. What were you? What were you doing? What were you up to? Thank you so much for sharing your community with me. I really do appreciate that. Hold on, I'm trying to find my kazoo. Where is it? Hold on, I need a kazoo for you guys. Oh my God, where's my kazoo? Hello, oh, there it is. Okay. Ahem. Thank you for sharing your community with me. I really do appreciate that. Here is a massive kazoo for you and your community. <clears throat> hey, hey, why are you saying oh god? Uh, chat, chat, be supportive. Thank you so much.
much for sharing your community with me. I'm so I'm so sorry you didn't get Jing Liu. Um, uh, uh, I promise you're gonna do a random a random solo YOLO and you're gonna get her uh, cause I said so. Don't worry, I, I'll talk to Daddy Hoyo. <laughs> I'll talk to them. I'll, I'll get I'll get them to dev your account. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, we still have 14 days. You got this. But welcome, and I hope you did have a- I hope you had an awesome stream. And thank you for sharing your community with me once again. Uh, we're about to do Fantilia. I'm- I'm trying to debate if I should, um... I'm trying to debate if I- if I- if I- me, Watashi, if I should try this with Jinglu- I've actually never used Jinglu yet in-game. So we got her on Tuesday, and I simply have autoed everything with Kafka's team, because I keep forgetting to, uh, put my Jinglu team on. So like, should I should I try this with her? But she's not fully. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do this, before we do this, let me let me really quickly. Let me really quickly. We need books. We need books. I need books, you guys. Calm down, guys. Calm down. I need books. Where where, where, where do I where do I get where do I get books? I want Tingyan. I have I have E six uh, Tingyan. Your destroyer when farming. All right, let me do this real quick. We'll try this team out. Time to whale the ember shop. Hold on, I'll show you ember shop. My favorite button is the auto button. Double speed. Lend me your strength. Converge and awaken. Human creations. All right, let's see what happens when. With all with all this extra crit. Okay. Okay. I mean only 7k. Come on, Jing Lu. Come on, Jing Lu. Only 7k? Come on. Okay. Okay. 44. Okay. Okay. Alright. This is double speed. Uh, trace mats? What do you mean? I already have everything for her. Once I get money, I can full send her. I just don't have any money. It's hitting 1.4 to 1.8 million and outbreak okay swarm doesn't count okay we're just doing casual farming all right listen you guys listen listen gamers 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 please understand where you are right now we are not sweaty gamers here i don't give a shit about min maxing my characters uh if they're hot i'm pulling for them Ooh, 103 that's nice um but i will say i have hit uh, 1.4 million with yan Ching, and i have hit 1.6 million with Sealy. so we can do big PP numbers, but I don't give a shit about min-maxing. Uh, we're here for a good time, and hitting the auto button is uh, part of the good time. I am a filthy casual, and I admit that I'm a filthy casual. I'm here for the story and the auto button. You know I could do more? I don't want to do more. I don't want to do more. I'm- I'm sad- guys. You guys. Single player game! Single player game! <laughs> I mean, listen, I, need, I have to do my weeklies! You guys, please! Don't you want to see me do my weeklies? I mean, I could always do this kind of stuff off stream. But, but that's, you know. That's like effort, you know? <laughs> Big numbers to justify your spending. No, 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 no. You know what justifies my spending? You guys watching this stream right now and giving me your undivided attention. Thank you for that. And also the tax write-off at the end of the year. Um, so thank you guys for that, truly. I'm also a free-to-play gamer. I've never spent money on this game. I never bought the battle pass. What are you talking about? E6 Kafka? I don't have an E6 Kafka. What are you talking? What are you talking? Oh, wow, you guys are just lying in 4K in my channel. Wow, I thought you guys. I thought chat was supposed to reflect streamer. I thought living my life to the highest integrity and honor would reflect to my chat. Instead, I have a bunch of liars. A bunch. Yeah, I don't even have Kafka.
Do you guys even see Kafka here? Exactly. Okay. All right. Oh, let me take a picture real quick. <laughs> I'm so... You guys. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so... You know where my brain instantly just went looking at this? Um, how can she see her phone? Um, how, how, uh, how is she, how is she, I see, well, she can't. <laughs> is it toggleable? Hmm, yes, this, yes, phone screen, hmm. It's very cute, it's a very cute phone game. What was I, what was I doing? Oh yeah, let me level her up a little bit. Oh, it's taking a picture. Okay, after we level her up a little bit. Oh my god, why does it take so many materials to, to get her to, to 80? Okay, let me take a picture. Wow, she's... She's so beautiful, you guys. I... I... Tr I truly, I, I she, she's just so gorgeous. Oh my, oh my lord. I, she's so pretty. A literal flower. All right, can I take off the blindfold? Are you allowed to? Bruh. The, the way, the way they... Mina has gone beyond just liking <laughs> Yan Ching, she has become Yan Ching. He assumed she was actually blind, and now Mina does the same. How long until Jinglu teaches her a painful lesson? <laughs> yeah. Yes! Give us nothing! <laughs> Give us nothing, queen! No, no, she opens her mouth here. Oh, her eyes are so pretty. I feel like Tingen has similar underwear. Me, okay. Okay, now she can see her phone. What you guys were saying about using skill, huh? Huh? <laughs> really? Really? No, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's fine. No, it's whatever. I I. It's not like I wanted to. It. It's no. It's so. It's okay. No, it's what. It's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. It's 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 whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go do Echoes of War now. How come I haven't done this yet? I feel like it's it's already Thursday. Uh, will you guys get mad at me if I do simulated universe off stream? You know, I gotta do my I gotta do my weeklies. Cause I don't want to do it right now. We don't have time. It's Thursday. What? Well, there was an update on Tuesday, so I wasn't gonna do it Monday, and I couldn't do it Tuesday because there was an update. So I have to do it off stream. Yes, very mad. Yeah, be mad. Mauled. Think about me. Any moment I'm off stream, I'm not online. And you're gonna be like, is Mina doing simulated universe right now without us watching? How dare she? How dare the audacity. You're just trying to have a peaceful evening, and then you just remember I could be doing simulated universe off stream. And you're just like, Urgh. <laughs> Just be mad. Be upset. Rage. It's almost like streamer has a personal life. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Truly, what I will be doing is probably just playing an, an unhealthy amount of Project Sakai. Just rewatch a VOD with simulated universe. Honestly, yeah, that probably, yeah. Although I play very differently offline. I, I simply uh, do nihility and I run around and auto everything. 
Star Rail is the only game, uh, aside from Project Sakai, that I will log into uh, off stream and uh, just do my dailies. This is the only game I do my dailies in. Like, truly. Ooh, how'd she do that? Um, this is devil speed. Is she murdering everything? Is she an AOE person? Did they reset all the hex puzzles on the low foot? I don't know. Chat, did they? I don't keep up with that. I had a life once. And then Honkai Star Rail happened. You know, that's valid. That's actually, that's actually extremely valid. Guard and defend. are a god. It's because they're so. It's so like. Oh, Fushwen died. Um. Why she die? Why she die? Uh, um. Um. Fushwen. Oh no, oh no. You know, maybe, okay, okay, hold on. Okay, maybe, okay, no, 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 no. Don't pay for this. This combat needs up. This is double speed. Uh, um. Um, no, no, please stop. Oh, please stop. Oh, Brodia. Oh, Jinglu drains allies HP to increase her attack. Is that what happens? Is that her fighting style? So I needed a healer. Was was no one gonna tell me this? You guys? Was was no one gonna tell me I needed a healer to play her? Listen! During the live stream, I was distracted. There was other assets on the stream in which I was paying attention to, okay? Okay, so we're gonna try this again uh with Locha. Yeah, I'm glad you're skipping simulated universe. You obviously would lose to the second boss. Listen, she is destruction path. All right. She was just doing too good of a job. All right. She was she was simply being too good at destruction by destroying her own team. All right. She's being in character. All right. We're playing the lore. All right, you little shits. <laughs> All right, I'm sure now we can auto. We have Locha now. The girlies are here. God, I hate auto. Oh, you guys are such sims. All right. Uh, Mina's illiteracy strikes again, and it won't be the last time. I I feel like you guys don't believe me when I told you I don't read. <laughs> like, uh, listen, I click around until something works. All right. If, like my reading comprehension skills, like gen especially on stream, I, I feel like off stream I'm I'm okay at it, but like on stream specifically, I I'm not paying attention. Like I, I I'm focusing more on chat and I'm focusing more on you guys, but like on uh like off stream, yeah, fine, I'll pay attention or whatever. Hi Kisaragi, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Listen, yeah, it's a streamer debuff. Um, listen, you guys, listen, listen, listen. 
I'm sure the other Star Rail people that you guys watch, the other, the other, uh, you know, streamers that you guys you give your attention to, are probably theory crafters, are the guide channels, the ones who pay an immaculate amount of attention to this game, yes? Like, like Brax. Brax is like crazy with the guides. Uh, whatever other top streamers are also crazy with guides as well. Um, listen. Or, yeah, lore streamers, that's not me. I'm here for a good time. We're here to giggle. We're here to have fun. You guys can go to other people for 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 the actual semantics of the game, and then you come here, and and we're we're here for a good time, you know. To guard and defend, crush them. I guess I thank you for 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 tier one for nine months. It's a little shrimp baby. Thank you. We're here for fun and Yuri. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Sounds like an excuse. Okay, and. Yuri Crafter. <gasps> yes, I'm a Yuri Crafter. I find Yuri in every single in every single incident where it doesn't even belong. Where it doesn't even have to make sense. It doesn't need to make sense because I want it. And that's that's it. Ah, oh, Lord, thank you so much for the Prime sub gamer. You only get one of those a month. Thank you so much for using it on me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I don't. I don't think people who actually pay attention to the the nuances of the game is necessarily a snooze fest. It's a different type of content. Personally, I don't find enjoyment in creating that content, so I don't. But I enjoy just kind of having fun and and you know, just just messing around with you guys, and that's why I make this type of content, which is just having like a good time. It's all about the vibes. Different strokes for different folks, you know? Make a company full of Yuri like the IPC. Uh, I don't want an HR violation, so no thank you. flame. <laughs> Interstellar Yuri Corporation. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I the president of the I I Y C? I don't like how that sounds though. I Y C. You look. No, there's no hidden meaning. I promise. Yuck. All right. Let's. Oh my god. Should we start? Should we? Should we start, gamers? I'll do the other ones off stream. Um, okay, if we're gonna do a story quest, I want in-game music on, so I'll turn off the other music. <clears throat> all right, am I a fun main? Yes, we're all about having fun here. Why play video games if you're not having fun? All right, here, here's, here's some actual life advice, you guys, okay. Don't play a game if you don't enjoy it. Um, genuinely, it doesn't matter how much of a time sink you've already put into it or how much money you've drowned into the game. If you don't derive happiness from it, don't play it. Only play games that actually make you like your life a better experience. Don't do things that purposely make you upset. You're only here for a finite amount of time. Do things that make you happy. And, and you know, if let's say playing League of Legends doesn't make you happy, maybe don't play League of Legends. Maybe you used to find joy in playing Honkai Star Rail or Genshin Impact, and you don't find that joy anymore, and you feel like logging in every day is a chore. Don't log in. Just take a break. It's okay. It's okay. Do things that make you happy, and don't be shackled by your own expectations. All right? But yeah. Just have fun, you guys. At least try to have fun. Just try. Try. Okay? Let's say you always feel bad after playing League of Legends. Listen. Okay, guys. My game. My game for this is Overwatch. All right? I used to love Overwatch. Genuinely. I, Overwatch was my first, like, actual competitive video game. But I'm a horrible person when I play Overwatch. And I never feel good after Overwatch. I never feel like... I never feel like a better person after I play Overwatch. So I stopped playing Overwatch. And genuinely, my life got so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, I am not a nice person when I play that game, so I don't play it anymore because I don't like how I feel when I play it, you know? Just win. Tell that to my dog water teammates, okay? It's a team sport. 
See, that's why. See, that's why. <laughs> that's why. That's why I don't play Overwatch. <laughs> Cause I'm just like. The instant widow lock, the insta lock widows, and the insta lock Genjis go away, go away. <laughs> and that's why I don't play Overwatch anymore. All right, what did I main? I was a diva uh, reaper in Zenyatta main. I insta lock widow. Yeah, you're the problem. <laughs> like, most calm Overwatch player. Yeah. Or, like, not understanding why we're not winning the game when no one is on the objective. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. We, we, don't, we don't talk about it anymore. We're, we're safe. This is a safe space. Uh, no more Overwatch people could hurt us here. And we're going to play. We're going to play the story quest. You guys will start saying hi, YouTube. Let me take a sip of water. Overwatch, you never... What's up, YouTube? We are about to play the... What's it called? Wait, what's it called? Uh... Trailblaze Continuous. What's up, gamers? We're about to play the Trailblaze Continuous Quest Future Market. Uh, yeah, I heard it's really good. If it's good enough, it'll make it here. If it's not good enough, you'll see this on the VOD channel. Hi, Future Me. All right, let's go to the Astral Express. I'm so excited. Oh God, I love this game. Just minor scope. Oh my God, March. What if they, hey guys, I have an idea. What if they just like, what if they kissed? I'm just saying, like what if, what if they, what if they just did a little, uh, what if they just, what if they just, what if they just, what if they just did a little smooch? I, I feel like I feel like that'd be that'd be that'd be that'd be that'd be Listen man God damn God hold on Hold on, I think I think it, this is an appropriate time for something. Give me one second, gamers. Um. Focus, Mina. Please focus. And I meant by zooming in and focus on it more. <laughs> she is my Oshi. Is this an example of what you edit? Yeah, this is not making it to the YouTube video. <laughs> this is the uh, this is the Twitch experience. All right, this is like the added content. This is like when when YouTubers have a Patreon. This is the kind of content that 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 that, that they get. This is what you guys get by being part of the Twitch gang, all right? <laughs> Every day we stray further from Yaoshi. Hell yeah. It's okay, Yaoshi likes it. Hey, did you hear about our next stop? It's a world called Penaconi. Why are they moving the mouse again? I hear it's a beautiful, dreamy place. I'm so excited. You're beautiful and dreamy. I love you. Um... Okay, I have some feedback for the Honkai Star Rail team. You guys did really good in the beginning, uh, genuinely, um, by making the mouth movements match the dubbing. And and uh, for some strange reason, you stopped. Can can we can we rework that, please? But Pom Pom said the banquet we were invited to is still a little ways off. Hmm, what can I do to pass the time? Huh? You can kiss me. Is that my phone? Must be the group chat. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, Brunya. God, I love her. She's so stupid. Can you read this message, Express Crew? Hey, Brunya. Long time no see. Aww. Oh, I love 
bro dia. I'll keep it short. Oh, 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 oh that's not keeping it short. Um, God, imagine I said sorry maybe next time. Never. I can never reject Bronya. Recently, I've been working on preparing the Soulworm Festival, a traditional Belabogian festival. The standard celebrations for this festival... Girl, why are you saying festival so much? ...have been suspended for years due to the fragmentum and the lockdown, and Belabogians now really need a heated celebration to lift their spirits. So if you have time, I'd like to invite you to the Soulworm Festival and witness what we've achieved so far in reviving Belabog. <coughs> Goddamn. Yeah! Hell yeah! I would like to point out my theory was correct. I knew that we would not go to Penacone right away and that we were going to detour to Bellabog. I said it! Aww. Oh my god, I'm so- I miss Bronya! She's so stupid! God, I love Bronya! Uh, oh my god. Don hung. He can't just ignore Bronya. How does she how is she doing that? Bro, how is she doing that? Let's go to his room and talk to him. Future market. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Um Is this a letter? <laughs> is this a bird? Wait, what letter? What is she talking about? Oh, this letter? No, I'm not starting this quest right now. No, this is Patrick! <laughs> God, when are we gonna get a room? Hey, Danny boy. Don Hung! Branya just sent all of us a message. Did you see it yet? Yes, I saw it. You could respond, bro. Then why didn't you reply? Branya's a good friend of ours. I am March 7th. We we have the same thought process constantly, like genuinely. <sighs> I'm sorry. Aww. I'm just not in the mood for idle chat. There's been a lot weighing on my mind since the Lo Fu. It was uh, tough on the spirit. Okay, okay, I okay. I understand you went through a really hard time, and you're probably a little depressed right now. And I feel you, and I hear you. But Bronya called for us, so we have to go. Uh, Don Hung, I'm the one who should be sorry. I was being too. Oh, pushy. March! You're right. You went through a lot on the Sienjo. Take all the time you need. Don Hong, stay on the express and get some rest. Why not come with us for a change of scenery? Well, I mean... Uh, no thanks. Okay. I'll be staying on the express. It's great that Bellabog is able to host a celebration. I hope your trip goes well. Invite Himeko. Say hi to our friends. She's not allowed to leave the train, okay? Okay. Rest up. You're not allowed to miss the next Trailblaze expedition. I'll be there next time. Oh, Danny. Uh, he won't budge, huh? Looks like it's just the two of us then. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Uh, pity. He's gonna miss out. We never get the chance to go on a stress-free adventure. He's been through a lot lately. Stress-free for us or stress-free for the planet? Don't get yourself all worked up. If your Rillo 6 is strong enough to withstand a Stellaron, yeah. it'll be just Are we gonna... Fine. Are we gonna... Are we gonna... Are we gonna hold hands? Uh, if only he may go no! come with us. No! No! She's not allowed... She's not allowed to leave the train! No! Maybe Mr. Yang? Maybe not. He's still wheezing from the trouble we got into on the Sienjo. You didn't notice? At his age, he might not appreciate the extra... <laughs> mm, <excitement>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she said, damn, he's old. Why don't we go ask Himeko to tag along? No! She might be up for an adventure. No, 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 he, no. You've been on the Express for 
a while now, but you've never gone on a trip with Himeko before, right? Well, now's your... I, I don't... Oh, we're going to her... Are we going to her room? Wait, are we going to her room? Oh, I thought she was going to be in her room. Hey, March. That's a big smile on your face. Oh, they're so is. cute. I didn't know anyone sat over here. I thought this was like a, a little section for like formality's sake. Uh, Himeko, there's a celebration coming up on Yurillo 6, organized by the Supreme Guardian. And we're invited to go take in the sights and sounds. Hey guys, you know it'd be a great pairing if Himeko does leave the train. Himeko Sir Ball. Just saying. Just saying. Possibility. Possibility. Don Hung won't be going anywhere for a while. He's still resting up, so wanna come with us? I mean, considering how you helped us out with Kakolia, I'm sure Branya would be happy to see you. <laughs> ah, so that explains the grin. God, I love you, Mako. Celebration. Thanks for the invite, but oh, thank God, my hands are full right now. Oh, thank Please God. Send my regards to the Supreme Guardian. Oh, thank God, stay on the train. Make the most of the festivities. You've earned it. You two and Don Hung did help save Yorilla Six, after all. I'll be sure to join you guys next time. No. Ah, uh, navigators really do have their plates full, huh? Seems like it's just you and me this time. Yeah, we should hold hands so we don't get lost. Let me go pack some stuff for the trip first. Come and find me when you're ready to set off. Okay. Let's go! I'm ready. I'm ready, March. I hope you're a fast packer. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Oh! She's so cute! Oh my god! Dude! Wait, her expression! Oh my god, her expression! Wait! Wait, this is so cute! Oh, March! Oh, look at her! Look at my baby! Dude! I Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Did, did you guys... Did you guys see Stell's mouth drop? Did you guys see the mouth drop? Dude, I'm being fed... I'm being fed so well. Oh my god, I'm being fed so well. When did you buy it? Very fancy. Yeah, I will say very fancy. It's been sitting in my wardrobe collecting dust for She's far so too cute. long. She's so cute. Got the chance to wear it. I love you. This kind of event doesn't come around every day. Why shouldn't I dress for the occasion? You're not really gonna wear that same old outfit, are you? Well, March, I was born like last week. I don't, I don't have any other clothes. No, oh, I love Stell. Uh, let's just pretend I never said anything. As long as one of us is making an effort. Can they hold hands? I love you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I love you. Is she wearing the same underwear? Um! Um, are you guys seeing this right here? Hold on, I need to see the other side. Hold on. Why is there a slit in the middle? Why? Why is there a... There's a slit in the middle. You guys, why is there a slit in the middle? And there's like a little garter belt here. Bro!
Not even King Arthur could. Gordon. Oh my god. This is... I love this. I love this. I love them. Uh, they're dating. You guys, um, they're in love. They have four children together. Um... But oh my god, why'd they put slits in it? I'm like, and she has bows up there too. Oh my god. Okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Girl, girl, I, 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 I know you're wearing that for, I know you're wearing that for Stell, but oh my gosh, she doesn't have a torso. <sighs> Pajamas, hot water bottle, pom pom doll. That should be everything. Let's go. You guys are telling me to focus, but then you see what they added to the freaking game. How am I supposed to focus? How am I supposed to... Where, d d d how am I supposed to focus when they when they are doing this, huh? Huh? Wow, that was fast. Don't you have anything you want to bring with you? Yeah, you. Nope, just myself. Why are you bringing pom-pom dolls? My relics have all have, all have speed attributes. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I'm gonna go with nope just myself, but I do like that they added the relic option. Huh, you do seem to travel light. But don't you at least need some pajamas? Why would I need that? Aren't we gonna sleep together, March? Why would why would Stella need pajamas if if you if they're gonna come off anyway? I was just taking a look at Mr. Yang's records, and it seems like your Rillo 6's average temperature has warmed up quite a bit. It's much warmer than it was on our first trip there. I wouldn't call it livable just yet, but things are looking up. I'm so happy for Branya and Zila. I enjoy, I enjoy how, how March still brought up Celia. When she was not even a part of any point in this conversation. Like, truly, like, Brony is the only one who mentioned us. Celia was not in the group chat either. No one uttered Celia's name. Yet, March is like, I'm so happy for Bronya and Celia. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. You bet, it's time to celebrate. <laughs> Bellabog, here we come. Oh, they're gonna kiss, bro. Oh, I love this height gap. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, is that- <gasps> Galabon. Seven hundred years. Oh my god, audit me. <laughs> it's never too late to pick up the tab. Oh, fur! How do people living in all this snow celebrate anything? Oh, I need a moment. Sure, I need though, a moment. Where there's a celebration, there's bound to be food, right? Um. Oh, come on, Bellabog. Don't let me down. Okay. Um. Hi, IPC. I haven't paid my taxes in 28 years. Um. I think I think I need to be punished. Can you Can you guys send Topaz, uh, to punish me, please? Thank you. I yeah. I just I just like never. I didn't like what. I just didn't even know I needed to pay my taxes or anything. Like was that something I needed to do? I think I need to be re-educated. You know, I've just been such a bad bad girl. And I and I feel like Topaz is, is the is the agent to really uh to to put me in my place. You know, I think I could really learn, uh, from Topaz. Truly. I'm also okay. Um, Jinglu, love you, Queen. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with this team, simply so I can play Estelle. I need to role play. I need to role play fully. I don't care who the IPC sends. I'm not paying my taxes. Oh uh, wait a sec! That person over there. That doesn't look like a silver main guard uniform. Oh yeah, it doesn't. All in black. Surely they're not. Oh no. See, on this world, not the are IRS. Crazy? IPC. What are they doing here? What an ugly uniform. You think so? I actually think it's pretty snazzy. March. Anyway, that's besides the point. 
The point is, what are the IPC doing here on Gorillo 6? Mm, there's only one way to find out. Let's go ask. I've always found IPC staff easy to talk to. What? Girl, no. This is actually a pretty cool Hi. uniform. Do you work for the Interastral Peace Corporation? Or are you just dressing fancy today? We gotta use a little tie! Uh, She's so cute. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? What's that one meme? She looked at him. And he looked at her. And she looked at him. And he looked at her. Do you guys know that? You know, do you know that meme? Please tell me you guys are, are cultured and you and you know this. Please. No? Okay. Okay. Um, S S Saturn, thank you for the Prime Sub Gamer for two months. You only get one of those a, 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 a month. Thank you so much for using it on me. Hey, man, if it's a silence contest, like, Stell's got you beat. Boss, encounter with two unknowns. They're so, <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. Uh, take us out. Hey, man, only I can take March out. Second, I'm on my way. <laughs> Don't do this, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> Glad to make your acquaintance. Hi, I'm Topaz, an investment expert from the Interastral Peace Corporation. I'm here on your own for a special business assignment. Can, can we, can we, can we, I like her voice actually a lot. Uh, can we all just appreciate uh, this button hanging on for dear life? Um, I feel like that's really important. I think I think it's a really important detail of her design. Truly. So I got two things from that. Mina is indeed 30 years older than 39, and she thinks that just looking at each other is enough for two people to raise each other up. Makes sense, Toe. Um, first of all, if you find a person attractive enough, them just looking at you will raise you up. I want to point that out. Second of all, listen, just because you guys aren't cultured, it's not my fault. You'll have to forgive my colleague here. People scales aren't his strong suit. Please don't poke her back. Hard. Marsh does not look amused. Oh, you. you scared the life out of me. Oh my god, the mouths are moving again. We're here for the celebrations. We're not looking for more conflicts. Oh, right. We should probably introduce ourselves. I'm March 7th, a passenger of the Astral Express. You may have heard of it. And this is my friend and fellow passenger. You could have said partner. You 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 you, you, you could have said partner, March. You, you didn't have to say friend. You you, you didn't have to say friend and and, and passenger. You, you, you could have just said partner. You know, buddy, compadre. Thank you for gifting us up, Sumian. I appreciate at that. The girl you like, hoping they get it. Mina really does have that sapphic riz. Listen, man. Don't people just stare at hot people? I, just, I thought that was like a common occurrence. <laughs> no kidding. I could tell you weren't locals Pull from a mile away, button. but I didn't expect to run into two nameless here. Fate is such a curious thing. I love that she has like red eyeshadow. Also, her expression's very pretty, and 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 I really like this button, especially. Yeah. I heard that Eurillo 6 only stepped out of the Stellaron's shadow thanks to the direct intervention of the Trailblazers. But surely you two aren't... Uh, aren't uh, dating? Because we are. Uh, that's us. The honor is yours. <laughs> I love Stella. <laughs> we may have helped out a little bit. Yep, that's us. <laughs> huh? Jeez, can you feel a little more humble? See little dog ears like whimpering at this response, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I never imagined I'd run into living legends here. Must be your lucky day, huh, Numbi? Oh my god, she has like a little like Bluetooth. Wow, Mr. 
Topaz. You're really young for an IPC executive. That's impressive. <sighs> More good luck, I suppose. But it's not as cushy as you think. Scurrying from one side of the galaxy to the other. Going wherever businesses require me to be. Sorry, I got distracted. Huh. Your job sounds pretty similar to the express crews. Aside from the business, I guess. Why are they looking at each other like that when she said business? Oh, Branya moves fast. The crisis is only just over and she's already opened talks with the IPC. Phil, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate that, gamer. Thank you. <laughs> These talks aren't exactly what you might expect, but I have to agree. The Supreme Guardian definitely yeah. knows how to govern a city. Bronia on top! here on Urello 6 to meet with her. Uh, Miss March, you said you were on your way to Bellabog festivities, right? My apologies for delaying you both. Well, we can go party together. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's not like we're in a rush. Want to come to the city with us? The snow plains are freezing, and it's Bro, they're holding hands. Think to get lost they're touching here. tips. They're touching, guys, 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 guys. They're touching tips. They're, 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 they're caressing fingers right now, you guys. Thanks for the concern, but I'll manage. It's my first time on this world. I'd like to take it in its vast, iconic snowscape for just a little longer. Who knows? Maybe we'll cross paths again during the celebrations. Oh, uh, here's my contact information. Oh my god, you're already giving us your I don't number? I usually respond during work hours, but I'd be happy to chat off the clock. A good worker? Ching Chi, I could never. Wow, I actually managed to get an IPC executive <laughs> phone number without even trying. Stel's face! Teach me how to get rich. I'm in charge of a project worth 8 billion credits, by the way. I'm, I want to. I want to see this one. <laughs> As if anyone would ever believe that. Okay, hey, but well, we made her laugh. We made her laugh. Okay. <laughs> you two make a cute pair. Uh, anyway, does she ship it? I'd better be on my way. See you next time. D does she? Does she? Does she ship it? Topaz, Topaz, are you shipping this? Ugh, God, I am. I am living. This this quest was made for me as as a starch truther, cause like Stell March is my OTP I think in Star Rail, so like as a starch truther, truly, this was made for me. I can already see the YouTube comment section being like, oh she ships them too hard. Yeah I do. Shut up. Ah <sighs> God I love starch. God damn her proportions, dude. The universe is huge. Yet, we somehow stumbled onto the same path. <laughs> Fate truly works in mysterious ways, don't you think? <laughs> Come on, let's head into the city. Yeah, you should hold my hand so I don't get lost. Please. Wow, there are people everywhere. Are you sure we're in Bellabog? Aww. Now to check out the main event, the food. Come on, keep up. Hang on a sec. Isn't that Wallace up ahead? Oh, uh, I don't like Wallace. Like finally made some friends. I wonder what they're talking about. Oh God, not Wallace. Robert, uh, why don't you tell everyone how you were released from jail so quickly? Wallace. Selling cultural relics and impersonating Silvermane guards. Wallace. This is why you don't have friends, Wallace. Well, it was all thanks to my uncle. You know. Ah, I remember. Your uncle is Minister Knoll. He heads up the Department of Transportation. <clears throat> uh, yes, you, you knew that too. <laughs> Guys, we'll talk to everyone. Calm You're down. Shameless, Norbert. Not to be rude, but. I were thrown in jail. I wouldn't possibly ask my father to bail What me a out. pretentious group of people. Oh my god. I would throw hands. Do you think I wanted to? You only talked up to three I'm people. Type of what? To abuse my status. <laughs> Looks like things are getting heat. 
I wasted one on them? Okay, we'll go to Serval. Hey, quick! Serval's about to start singing! Oh my god, oh my god, hi Serval, I missed you. Yay! Serval! Serval! Heartbeats will shake me. So rules can't break me. Crank the sound and let your soul be free. I wish I knew the words. I would sing along. Do it all! Serval, marry me, Cash. Who will Serval? Is 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 Celia around by any chance or no? Okay, so Jeppy's over there. The, the whatever's happening over there. No, Celia's not around. Formation. At ease. Hey, Jeppy. It's you two. Welcome back to Bellabog. Yeah, I definitely wasn't just here to help you deal with familial issues, Jeppy. The Supreme Guardian mentioned there'd be mystery guests attending the Soul Warm celebrations, but I didn't think it'd be the Express crew. I hope you had a smooth journey. I should have dispatched Silvermane guards to welcome you on arrival. My apologies. Oh, Jeppy, you didn't know. Oh, it's fine. You really don't have to apologize. We're just passing through. It's no big deal. Understood. I hope you both enjoy the festivities. I love Jeppy. Please make sure Jeppy, why won't you come home? Safe. Pickpockets tend to take advantage of events like this. We'll be performing additional patrols. Got it. I'll get out of your way then. Bye. Bye for now. Why won't Jeppy come home, you guys? Why does he hate me? Ah, phew. Who'd have thought just taking a stroll could be so tiring? It's your heels, girly. Oh, why do I hear cheering? I say, I think we should probably pay Branya a visit. After all, she was the one who invited us here. Or we could go check out some other fun stuff elsewhere. <laughs> your call. Okay, we definitely want to go see Branya. Oh, but is Palo around by... Oh, yeah, they, we'll, go, we'll talk to Palo first. And then we'll go to Branya. Hey, Pela. Pela, bada, 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 bada. I'm stuck. Oh, God, I'm stuck. Okay. Bellabog's History and Culture Museum was founded 600 years ago. Okay. I'm good. I'm fine. I don't need to hear about that. Alrighty. Let's go to, let's go to Bronya. And I hope Celie will be there as well. All right. Oh, Toe Badger's here. Where's Seely? Pela's here. How'd she get I there so fast? I understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you. I gotta miss you. anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Wait, what debt? What debt? They, they, you just, they've been independent. What debt? Oh, it looks like we have some visitors. Hey, yo. Branya! And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talks. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. Bro, the way Estelle looks at March is so disgustingly in love. I'm gonna throw up. Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Eurela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. Listen, can't we just start over? You know, we're basically a reborn planet. So our debts should be reborn. Isn't it like if you file bankruptcy, your debt goes away? Simply, simply file for bankruptcy as a planet and, you know, all of our debt goes away. Isn't that what happens? That's not how that works. What do you mean? What do you mean? Just file for bankruptcy. 
You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the underworld are cooperative. Oh god. Oh god, I don't think they're cooperative. I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. They're holding hands again. God, the way she walks. Good to see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. I planned a special reception, but I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just oh, they witnessed, all wanna, like, she claims they all to represent beat us with, like, a party. IPC. There's no need to keep either of you in the dark. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Solworm Festival. Aww. What did Miss Topaz say to you? I only heard the word debt. Okay, we're not gonna say that. We're gonna ask her a nice question. Hmm. Since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I feel like Steely would just be like, who cares about the IPC? We only need to worry about the future of Irilo 6. I feel like she'd be like that. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. The Legion's invasion 700 years ago. How the Stellaron brought about the Eternal Freeze? It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent oh. upon Urillo 6. How the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster and chose to leave in large numbers. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave. Those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC provided Bruh. these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. Okay, well, I mean, that's nice. It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch Okay, wait, that's actually kind of nice. Drawn from the same pool. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So, does that mean Topaz's business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? Yes, I'm afraid Not so. Not the debt collector, bro! That's ridiculous! And what's with the timing? What took them so long to get here? If it wasn't for us eliminating the Stellaron, they'd have nothing to collect. It's obvious they're just trying to take advantage. I feel like after like 5,000 years, the debt should be forgiven. Like, if you don't pay a loan... Like, okay, like, let's say you, you, your, your credit score goes to shit. Seven years! Just wait seven years and it goes away. It goes away in seven years, bro. Like, it's already been 700 years. I think they could forget the debt existed. According to her account, the repayment period agreed upon by the architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. Yeah, okay. So it's been 700 years. Forget about the debt. Obviously, the contract passed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. They have a contractual obligation. Okay, and? I'm saying this contractual- This is a piece of paper from 700 years ago. They already were prepared to cut their losses. At this point, just forget about it. They're obviously still barely recovering. It wasn't until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IPC discovered that Bella Bog had survived. And that's when they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. And 
The interest. Oh no. Oh no, not the interest. How much? An astronomical amount. I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. Oh no. Before you both arrived, Topaz warned me that if the payments were delayed, the IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. Erm. Um. Oh, I had no idea things were like this. Here I was thinking the IPC had come to rebuild Balabog, not extort it. Looks like we'll have to intervene. I doubt the Bellabogians can do anything about this on their own. We'll have to intervene. Yeah, we have to help Franya out. The IPC is too big and powerful. The Bellabogians won't be able to resolve this problem on their own. You seem to have a deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the galaxy, the IPC could crush Bellabog like a bug if they wanted to. A Bella bug. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're both here. Aww. I know you came for the festival, but now... Now... I must ask you and the Astral Express for help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? The Express's reputation precedes it. Perhaps there's still hope? What if we simply tell her, hey, Hey, that that debt from 700 years ago was an illusion of the past. It doesn't exist anymore. Have no fear, Branya. When a friend's in need, the nameless will always be at their side. Aww. Look at March stepping up. Let's go have a chat with Topaz. Let's bring out the big guns. Uh, I don't think we're at that stage yet. Miss Topaz seems like a reasonable person. March, why are you gonna kill oh, babes, babes, why do you keep killing my vibe? I feel like I feel like every time, every time I'm trying to I'm trying to have a I'm trying to have a cool moment. You you always you you always reality check me and, and I don't I don't appreciate that. I don't feel like it's a very like loving and supporting as as a partner. I feel like you need to you need to allow me my space to to be a little obnoxious and, and, and not put me in my place. Thank you. With your silver tongue, I'm sure we'll make some progress. Yep. Uh-huh. Not gonna say anything about it. No, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. I I know what you guys want me to say, and I'm not gonna say it. Thank you so much, both of you. I'm so sorry for dragging you into more trouble. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck. And I stay safe. Don't worry, I got you, man. May the odds be ever in your favor. Hi. Let's go talk to Bronya. What, what are you up to? I apologize for dragging you into Bellabog's affairs again. But when faced with an entity as powerful as the IPC, you need all the external help we can get. No, man, you're so valid. Don't worry, babes. I got you. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. Can you tell me again why- Okay, now we Thank already you. know. Okay. Aw, I love you, bro. Yeah. Alright, let's go, babes. Oh, hey! I just remembered. Topaz gave me her number. Yeah, you were you were flirting with her right in front of me. We might as well just be direct and ask her where she is. She seems like the type of person who appreciates a straight approach. Are you there, Miss Tope? Oh my god, her icon is AI reply. Greetings, Director Topaz is currently busy and unable to reply to your message. Please wait. AI, please tell me. Stop repeating. Checking Director Topaz's schedule for you. Uh, oh, she's, she's in the museum. <laughs> it just doesn't like March. <laughs> Chat IPC. That's funny. Okay, got it. 
She's at the museum. Let's get going. We better think about what we're gonna say. She might be young, but she is an IPC executive. Yeah. She's definitely no pushover. Oh, wow, we just teleported here. Nice. Oh, I love the museum music specifically. Hey, wait, where's, where's, what's her name, Ashley? Where is she? Where's the Riz guy? Where is everybody? Wait, why is the, why is it empty? Topaz, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'd like to point out that this is also skin right here. And that's her faint belly button line. Just want to point that out there for, for those who are paying attention. I'm not staring, I'm doing research. Please understand the difference, okay? It's quality assurance, man. It's quality assurance. <sighs> man, I love this game. It's you two again. This is the third time today we've run into each other. Yeah, totally not a coincidence. Cherish the moment. <laughs> I want to keep picking the responses I know March is going to be sassy towards. I I truly want to keep picking like the ones that March is going to like be like, can you humble yourself? His confidence is crazy. Listen, man, sometimes you gotta be confident in yourself, all right? Like, you know, you, you get the energy you put out in the world. And, and truly, truly, confidence is good as long as you have the shit to back it up, you know? And I think still, I think still has it. Why, of course I will. Meeting friends from the Astral Express wait, is she took always me seriously. a moment worth cherishing. Wait, 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 why, 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 wait, no, why, why did you agree with me? I was being, I was being cocky, bro. You're supposed to humble me. That's, that's how this goes. Like, like, I, I, I obviously, you know, I, I obviously, I, I, c come on. No, that's not fun. Now I just feel like a jerk. What do you make of this painting? I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, I can tell it's no ordinary piece. It portrays a certain kind of uh, sorrow, you know? Not your everyday kind of sadness. It runs much deeper than that. Yeah, because they're depressed, bro. <laughs> it's as if the artist had condensed history into one poignant but sorrowful image. That sounds poignant? It depicts a generation's. No. Several generations' hardships. This word is pronounced poignant? I... I um... I kind of don't want to say how I pronounce it. But point, point, poignant. Um, I... It's French. Oh, of course it is. I, I thought it was like you know like 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 poig, yeah like poig, poignant. I thought it was like poignant. Yeah, 
Not at all. The analysis of an aficionado. I wouldn't take my word for it. The Express Gosh, these has are such big words. many worlds. I'm sure the Nameless have a far greater knowledge of such things than myself. Sound kind of kind of wistful. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, what I'm drawn to isn't the style in which a piece is painted, but its overall value. Its intrinsic value may only be fifty thousand credits, but its added value might push the total up to two hundred thousand. Uh, sorry for crashing your artist party, but we came to talk to you about something else. No. Oh? A collaboration between our two sides, perhaps? Oh my god, collab? Not exactly. Actually, we... Let's walk and talk. Uh. This way. God. Most exhibits Why does she walk museum like that? are of little value. Dude, she walks so sassily. But with a keen eye, it's possible to find a diamond in the rough, so to speak. Miss Topaz? Branya's already told us about Bellabog's debt situation. Oh. You two are closer than I expected with her. I mean, yeah, we're the reason she got together with her partner. And the reason her mom died. And also the reason this planet is safe. We've been through a lot together. So, how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement? Or... We, uh... We want to ask uh, for a favor on behalf of Bronya. The IPC's demands are unreasonable. The Express will pay off Bellabog's outstanding. D okay, we're Topaz not doing the last gives one. the energy of someone who gets turned on doing her taxes. She invented the anime tax game. The IPC's demands are unreasonable. <laughs> You're so direct. I like that. Oh, oh. Are you, Miss Topaz, are you flirting with me? I understand. From your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. Wait, what did three do? What did three do? However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. I've dealt with cases far more difficult than Bellabog's. Three triggers a bad ending? Wait, really? I appreciate each case has its difficulties. But if I treated every late debtor as a special case, the galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. Listen, the galaxy's economy was doing just fine when they didn't know Bellabog existed. What a heartless way of seeing things. And if the debt can't be repaid? Yeah, what a heartless way of... Oh, I don't want to be mean to Topaz, though. The strategic investment department is well-versed in handling such situations. We can offer the debtor various repayment solutions. But Urilla 6 has far exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. So, I proposed to Branya. Oops, oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't no, I? No, 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 tell me! Oh, that was a close one. Uh, the exhibits here are pretty ordinary. I estimate they're probably not worth much. Uh... Let's Is she moving. trying to figure out what she could sell from the planet? Uh, so you're basically saying the Bellabogians must pay off their ancestors' Bruh. debt. When you think about it, it's just another part of the cycle of life. Uh, I'm not sure it's as poetic as that. <gasps> wow, look! Is that little critter native to Urillo 6? Wait, I can't see it. Stell's head's in the way. <gasps> it's so white and fluffy. <laughs> It's great. Where can I find a live one? You like animals? It's probably extinct. I absolutely adore them. <laughs> Have you guys met Numbi yet? Oh, oh this is cute. She's excited. Oh. They must be out playing somewhere. Hmm. Come to think of it, this little guy is on display here. Probably means it's already extinct. So, Miss Topaz, what exactly will it take for the IPC to go easier on Bellabog? Aww. Branya invested so much just to make this world a little better. And now, it feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. It's just so cruel. <laughs> what do you take the IPC for, Miss March? We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. 
we're all followers of the preservation. No matter what solutions we propose, we will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, would we? I mean... I don't... Listen, listen, Topaz. You sound like a reasonable individual, but when taxes are involved, there is no soul. There is no mercy. There is no welfare of the people as a thought in their mind when it comes to collecting a debt for the IRS. So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? But Branya... Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. She'll understand. But to answer your question directly, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what obstacles I encounter. Uh, this isn't going as planned. What should we do? I wouldn't waste too much energy on this matter. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies. But oh, now your I phone rings? But when we text you, it goes Bye. to AI? You're so cute, March. I love you. So, what now? We spent ages trying to convince her and she didn't move an inch. Well, actually, she moved a few inches, but yeah. We didn't promise Brodeo we succeed. We didn't say that we would succeed. Yeah, we tried. We didn't promise that it would work. Uh, she sort of made sense. We should keep pestering her. I don't want to keep pestering her because we already ran into her three times in one day, and that's kind of weird. So I'm going to go with number one. Well, yeah, but she'll be really disappointed. Yeah. Uh, I guess Miss Topaz is just doing her job. And as far as the Express is concerned... I think it'd be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. <sighs> All these vested interests. So hard to okay, undo Okay, any okay, of it. okay, okay. They teach this stuff in school. I... Uh, wait, did I even go to school? Marsh, don't think too hard about this, babes. I have a proposed idea. Topaz, Topaz. You forgive Bellabog's debt. I'll give you two evenings with Himeko. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it, Topaz. Do you accept this trade offer? <laughs> I think it's an easy deal. I think it's an easy deal. Did someone send you a message? Damn, girl, why, 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 are you, why are you peeping on my phone? Oh my god, Seely! We'll get, we'll get Himeko's permission first, okay? I heard you're back in Bella... <laughs> Seely, you can't call me that, you're taken. Give me a shout when you have a minute, it's urgent. What's up? A bunch of rascals. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine Seely saying rascals, bro. A bunch of rascals came down to the underworld and took over the great mine by force. I asked Brony what to do, and she told me not to mess with them for the time being. Listen to her and don't mess with them. Too late. Like, Brodia told me not to mess with them. Stell, yeah, don't. Too late. <laughs> like, she got two separate warnings. And she still said... 
<laughs> have super uh, advanced fancy weapons with jacked up damage. We can't handle them. I'm sending you an SOS because I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> oh, silly. Oh, silly. Huh? The IPC are causing trouble in the underworld. Already? God, that is that was so genuinely. I love this quest. This is this is truly providing me so much joy. Genuinely providing me so much joy. Uh, seriously, Topaz was just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Oh, now they're pulling this stunt. You really can't trust these money-hungry IPC suits for a minute. Never trust the IRS. Let's go save the day. Here we go again. That's right. You can't believe a word they say. Uh, I really did jinx us. I don't think I have it in me to play the hero today. Aww. Well, I guess complaining won't get us anywhere. Let's go lend them a hand. Okay. Hoyo's always cooking with Bellabog. Truly, truly, have you guys seen me enjoy dialogue this hard in Lofu? You guys, one in chat if you've seen me enjoy dialogue half as much as this in, in Lofu. Two in chat if you've never seen me be this happy in the little food. <laughs> Wait, I think one and two are the same thing. Okay, okay, ignoring Kafka's quest, okay? Story quest wise. Story quest wise. You had a good time in Lodge. Oh, that's because it was March. It's good, yeah, it's because there's no Yuri in the Lofu, man. All the all the Yuri in Lofu is like dead Yuri, and that's not like I don't know, that's not like happy. It's not fun Yuri. Because they're all dead, you know? It's getting late. Where to now? Oh gosh. Hey. Zila. Hey! Am I glad to see you two here? I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. What's going on? Is anyone hurt? Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few wildfire members got minor injuries. Aww. Fortunately for us, it seems like they were holding back. Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. I love the word automaton. You see those two in black? They've been guarding the mine entrance. Just get Kafka over here. Anyone in or out. Hey, just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us. Oh. Who do you think you are? Red and man leaving scars, collecting this jar of hearts. Sorry, sorry. She she set it up. She set it up for me. What's the matter? Got nothing to say? Oh, <laughs> she's going like grr. I can literally hear like a little grr. What's going on inside the mine? Wait, she changed what? Ideas? Did wait, wait, wasn't she just in the dress? Hold on, wait. <laughs> when did she change? When did she wait? When did she change? She, yeah, she was wearing the dress in the museum. Oh, put the dress back on. A few miners made it out earlier. They looked pretty panicked. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. Aww. These uninvited guests keep talking about asset evaluation. Whatever that means. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the underworlders. Is Topaz around? We'll handle this. Is Topaz around? Uh, who? Seely <laughs> really is a throw fist, ask questions later kind of gal. We were just talking to her in the museum. Do you think her cronies are acting who? without her authorization? The person you're talking about, are they in charge of the people in black? Potaz, Pazzo. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever her name is, she can wait. Potas! Right now, the most important thing is to free those trapped in the great mine. <laughs> Are you two with me? Potas! Pasto! 
I'm exclusively referring to Topaz as Potaz. I can't. I can't. Potaz! Yeah, how dare Potaz audit them. Hey, you two. Cat got your tongue or something? If you knew what was best for you, you'd get out of my way. Quiet worker. You guys must be exhausted standing here all day. How about you take a little lunch break? I'm sure the IPC allows that, right? Yeah. Yeah, just go, you know, go 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 vibe, take a take a take a fiver. Uh you go get some lunch, some 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 food. And then and then you can come back. Come back uh, stronger than ever. I'm a guest of your boss. Step around, step aside. Seriously, get some lunch, bro. <laughs> Seriously, get some lunch, bro. Go get some food, man. <laughs> like, um, I feel like number one will get the correct answer, but number two is funnier. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with number two. Uh, what's their deal? You two were talking to the director in the snow plains. Yeah. Uh, so it's you. You're the one who was threatening to take us out in the snow plains. Uh, do you even know who you're talking to? Oh, Karen March? Knows to treat us with respect. You'd better start showing some yourself. March, that was the most Karen line you could have ever stated. Oh my god. Wait till your boss hears about this. Give me your supervisor. <laughs> Go get your potaz. I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. Team leader? <laughs> You're even lower on the pecking order than I thought. Damn, March. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I spent seven years on a forsaken asteroid preparing to join the IPC. I went through 17 interviews before they finally hired me. 17? What right do you deadbeats have to criticize me? Deadbeats? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't know Mori Calliope was here. Um, excuse me. We are working nameless adults who make a living and are well known around the universe and the galaxy. Just because you're low on the totem pole and, and have to report to your team leaner or you're going to lose six months of performance bonuses. Maybe if you worked a little harder, you would be a manager by now and you wouldn't have someone taking away your performance bonuses because you'd be giving them out. <laughs> IPC? Interviews? I don't know what you're rambling on about, but you're really testing my patience. No need to waste our breath on this idiot. Let's do this. Wait, 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 wait. We're not supposed to fight. We're not supposed to fight. <gasps> Alright, whatever. Netmark is activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Fun! Thank you for the raid, cutie! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Uh, welcome in, Fun. Hi, hello. I hope you had a lovely, lovely, lovely stream. Right now, we're playing some Star Rails. I hope, I hope you had a good stream. Here's a massive kazoo for you! For the raid cutie i hope you had a lovely stream and thank you for sharing your community with me hi guys i'm playing honky star wheel right now we are doing the story quest uh yeah it's really good so far very yuri i'm living my best life truly yeah uh, spoiler warning this is the new uh the new content very good very fun i'm really enjoying myself you guys missed me going ma uh karen mode i will say that much but fun i hope you had a lovely stream and thank you so much i appreciate you queen <sighs> 17 rounds of interviews and these are the best people they can find? <laughs> what a joke. Dude, March, March is rough, bro. <laughs> oh, what's 
not get ahead of ourselves. I've been warned that the ones in Thank the mine won't go down without a fight. Let's set off when you're ready. I'm ready. I feel like... I know this is not the scenario, but does this not look like... Like, like a love triangle, and I need to pick between the two of them, because I obviously pick- I, I, I pick March, because, I mean, Celie has- has Bronya. Caught your breath yet? It's time to show these IPC fools who they're dealing with! Sorry, March. I had my breath for a moment, but then I lost it again when I looked at you. When did you change your clothes? <laughs> right after we finished chatting with Topaz in the museum. Why are you guys so mean whenever I try when I whenever I whenever I try to do a pickup line, huh? Why can't you guys be like, wow Mina, that was so good? Kia Mina, my panties are on the ground. Kia, that was so that was so you did the plus riz. That was so good. You guys are so mean to me. You guys are so mean to me. I breathed. I breathed. And and, and, and all I do, all I do is get bullied. Did it take you that long to notice? I thought you were supposed to be the observant one. I got distracted, okay? You're really pretty. The quicker we handle the IPC, the faster we can get back to enjoying the celebrations. Let Zila know when you're ready to go. I love you, March. What do you mean? I just know it. I noticed instantly, you little shit. It, it, I just only got the dialogue option now. Damn, you even changed underwear? Ready for action? It's time to kick the IPC out of the underworld. Let's, Let's go. Let's get moving. Okay, we'll do... Jing Lu team. Oh, it's Farog. Oh, they're here too? Hello. It's Mr. Sparog, isn't it? And this cute little girl must be Clara. How do you... Aww. Uh, hello, miss. Are you... I'm Telpaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sparog. Clara, go inside and wait for me. Aww. Huh? But if you have a guess, maybe I should... Guys, remember Mina already has 420 points because of her age, so she can afford to lose some from her reverse race. Time for Dread to get a timeout. Maybe we should. Maybe we should timeout Dread. I, th I think. I think it's time we silence Dread for a little bit. She is not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Damn. Ooh, her eyes. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. Tarag knows never trust. So it seems my source was right. Who the IRS. Thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl. <sighs> so heartwarming. She is so pretty. Oh my god, she is so pretty. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna send this without any context to Numi. Because Numi is a topaz simp. And I made sure not to include the. The dialogue, so she has no idea, just the image of Topaz's face. I literally just- this bitch! She's just like, I don't want to see delete, and I said no dialogue! <laughs> She said, I don't want to see. Delete. I blocked the Topaz account. No, delete. <laughs> There's no spoilers. There's it's her face. 
I'll delete it, I'll delete it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You bear the insignia of the Interastral Peace Corporation. What is your motive for coming here? Oh, he knows the IPC. <laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. Damn, and so a month goes by just like that, yes. Dude, this button is literally fighting for its life. Urillo 6. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the Is she IPC. robophobic? Is she... I just, I just feel like the way that she's talking about robots feels a little robophobic. Like, like some underlying robophobia, you know? Because it, it's giving the vibes. Because she's just like, are robots even familiar with that term? Mm, I don't know if you'll know that as a robot. Like, are robots and humans having, uh, you know, interpersonal relationships? Mm, sounds fake, but okay. She hates the working class. Thank you so much, Punk, for the tier one. For 18 months, Gamer. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. No one can reverse this outcome. Not you, not the Nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only care about one thing right now. Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that Urillo 6 can generate value. In the long run, this is a way, the only way... To ensure Bellabog's long-term interests. I need your help to achieve mm. this goal. Long-term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary. How do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. Okay. What? What is this? That looks like the hexagon thingies puzzles that we do. This is... Source code. Or, to be more precise, source code that is able to take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. Um... That's sounding a little super villain-esque. That's sounding like... Uh, uh, I don't like how that sounds. <laughs> This is like some Lex Luthor, you know, stuff. I'm sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellabog over the last 700 years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. The code is so refined that the engineers never saw any reason to change it. I assume you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands of automatons, enough to crush the Legion's vanguard, lay dormant within. I mean, yeah, to, uh, Svarog's gonna cooperate. She literally has a device that controls every single automaton in Bellabog. This is my bargaining chip for negotiating with the higher-ups. I'll convince them that Urillo 6 has a place in the company's long-term strategies. But first, I need a guide to show me where these automatons are buried. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. What are your intentions for the people currently living here? Their future has already been purchased. All I can do is make them accept this fact using a relatively peaceful approach. Um. I understand. What do you mean by purchased? I will assist you with your plan. Oh, so you're not as stubborn as the rumors suggest. The future you speak of is beyond my computational range, but my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to ensure the survival of this world. Additionally, calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force Up to if I refuse to cooperate. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. Here's to our future cooperation. It's not really cooperation if you blackmail him, is it? Farag. 
is, is, I, I, don't, I feel like that's not true cooperation if he doesn't have a choice. Hey. All the miners here huddled together. Anyone else getting deja vu? Well, the situation here is pretty similar to when you first arrived. It's just that instead of a few thugs and broken robots, now we're dealing with much more formidable adversaries. Formidable. Hey, check it out! It's Numbi! Isn't that Topaz's little trotter over there? I'ma kill it. Oh, what was it again? Numbi, right? I'ma kill it and take its 60 primo gems. <gasps> what? Isn't that thing a fragmentum monster? She's keeping one as a pet? I want the gems. I want them. Uh, the IPC are all about their sci-fi sorcery, so it's not that surprising. Wanna go take a look? I'm gonna kill it. Remember rate. Oh yes, perfect. Die. Aww. Oink. 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 Um, we're gonna go with, uh, oink, grunt, grunt, oink. Aww. Aww. Wait, that's really cute. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, now what if I kill it? Now it trusts us. You guys, guys, now we've gained its trust. Now it's easy to kill. Sounds like you two are getting along. <laughs> What's Numbi saying? Topaz isn't here. Life is ultimately meaningless. Not sure. Strong accent. <laughs> uh. Wow, that's so deep. Oh, come on, stop fooling around. Bro, they're flirting. They're flirting. Look, you guys. Looks like it wants to leave. Oh, it has a little Let's bow on it. Find their master. Let's follow them. Help! Those people dressed in black are attacking us. Oh, wrong. Whoops. <laughs> Hey, I'm talking to you. Where do you guys store the Geo Marrow? Oh, I really don't know anything. Aww. This place is filled with nothing but incompetence. Nothing but incompetence. <sighs> Those cowards. I guess they want to do this the hard way. Yeah, let's kill them. Burn, baby, burn. Just go in for Lend me your strength. Ads. Hey guys, use your tier one subs and help me hit partner plus. Try harder. Warp totters are worth 60 stellar jades, but Numbi may be worth uh, one expensive top up. Ooh. Yo, if killing Numbi resets the shop to re get top up, that'd be kind of nice. I'd kill him for that. Honestly, I'd kill him for 60 jades. We shall take back what we lost. Over 9,000? You're my little pog champ. Yeah, yeah, free to play, by the way. Look at them. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oink, 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 oink! <laughs> Looks like Numbi's in a good mood. Uh, but aren't they on the IPC side? Strange. Stop running so fast! That should have sliced right through you little shit. Okay, the numby sounds are so cute. Look! That big guy down there! Is he the one in charge? Hmm. We'll see who's really in charge. We'll see Let's who's go. really in charge. Huh? Where'd Numbi go? Wow, for something for so hydrate. short and stubby, they're surprisingly nimble. Well, guess that's that. 
We're on our own now. Let's keep going. Uh, man, if only I could jump off the cliff. I guess it's only Honkai Impact, huh? Why does everyone want to off the pig? Because those cheeks were made for slaying. Hey, you! Are you in charge around here? Oh, that's a team leader? The IPC is currently conducting acid evaluation work here. Local residents are advised to follow those responsible for evacuation to the. Don't lie to us! You seized the mine by force for yourself. You Aww, drove the silly. out of their homes. I'm warning you. Get lost or suffer the consequences. Don't you dare show your face around here again. Ah, and who might you be? You have quite the attitude. This is our jurisdiction now. Uh, she's We're the leader of this place. Here. Topaz just lets you do whatever you want. I want to speak to your boss. <laughs> you know Topaz? Interesting. Is Why is that interesting? The strategic investment department has no obligation to talk to anyone. Why was that interesting? Yeah, Potaz, I'm so sorry, yeah. The IPC reserves the right to skip negotiations and take over all assets. We're simply following the rules. No, you're not. You're being We're stupid. You know, it's funny how the rules always seem to work in your favor, don't you think? This world's been hanging by a thread, and now you're here to pull the plug on it. <laughs> don't blame me. I'm simply following orders. Do Whose order? Whomst's orders? <laughs> Save your breath, March. I never held out any hope of resolving this problem peacefully. Seely, I mean, you didn't even start trying to solve this peacefully. Didn't you claim the IPC was all powerful? <laughs> well, now is the perfect chance to show us what you can do. Yeah, rules were made to be broken. <sighs> If I knew things were gonna get this heated, I'd have applied for overtime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate corporate, bro. Intent on settling this matter with pirates. Prepare yourselves for my heavy labor, damn it. Trickier to crack. Trickier to catch. <laughs> Owie. <laughs> Right. Lend me your strength. Lend me your strength. That's it. You chose the wrong enemy. Uh, bro, Lair, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate that, gamer. Thank you. Owie. Uh, okay. Uh, stop it, please. Thank you. This combat needs. A <laughs> this, this is double, double speed. speed. Okay, and then hmm, we're gonna do this. Eternal We're also gonna do this. Receive divinity. Your assistance is time. All right. Lend me your strength. Stand down. You guys, are you backseating me, gamers? You guys. Can you not backseat me? No, I don't know how to play Jinglu. I'll figure it out. But yeah, if you try to backseat me, I'm gonna purposely play her wrong. I want you guys here. to know this. Okay? I will I will purposely do it as wrong as possible just to piss you off. I want you guys to understand that, okay? Flame. Let's settle this. In other words, button mash? Yeah. Oh, F4 for massive damage. Troublesome. 
Thank you for hydrate. Lend me your strength. Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush, Crush them. them. Nowhere to run. <laughs> Woo! 200k! Did you really think you could stop us? I mean, uh, Marge, uh, I, I did all of that. Uh, you were... You, you, you were in the corner. <laughs> Darn it. I'm all out of ammo. Sir, we've just received word from the director. Uh, director Topaz? What did she say? Teams are not to disrupt the lives of local inhabitants during the asset evaluation period. Ha ha! Ha ha! Sucker! Oh yeah, I have E0 Topaz. E0 S1. Teams that violate this directive will have their year in bonuses reduced by 60%! Oh! Oh yeah, 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 60! Oh, did I say Topaz? Oh my god, you guys! You know what I mean! You know what I meant! I swear, you guys just can't let any slip of the tongues pass. 60%? We're done for. Not the anime lines. Uh, attention all personnel. Evacuate the mine immediately. Erase all traces of your presence. <sighs> so, are we all good here? Or what? <sighs> yeah. Judging by the looks on their faces, I don't think they'll be back. So, who is this Topaz anyway? She seems to have no problem ordering these idiots around. Or taming Fragmentum creatures. Oh god, Celie does not like Topaz. Uh, it's a long story. You're better off asking Bronya. <sighs> Why did this mess have to happen so close to the festival? Aww. <sighs> the timing couldn't have been any worse. Aww, she's like, I just wanted Bronya to have a good time. Oh, looks like we've got a message. Is it from Topaz? Oh, it's from Bronya. Where are you, March? Uh, and baby girl. Are you alright? Bronya, we're in the underworld right now. The IPCs took over the Great Mine. Us and Seelie just kicked them out. I see, you're with Seelie. <laughs> what is- Hold on! What does this text mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? I see, you're with Seelie. What does that mean, Bronya? Bro, 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 uh, 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 is is Celia in trouble? Uh, did we just did, uh, uh, did we just get did we just get Celia in trouble by uh, by admitting that that we're together right now? How are things? Did you get hurt? Don't worry, uh, I failed to persuade uh, Topaz. The IPC won't stop there. Uh, we'll go with this one. Aww. Something just happened here, and I can't explain it clearly. Could you come back to Klupoth 4? I need uh, advice from you two. Okay, what about Celie? Celie's with us. Huh, I get the feeling Branya's worried about something. We'd better go back and see her. Are you coming with us, Dila? Go on hey. without me. I still have stuff to take care of. No, come with the us! The need to know what happened here. Branya messaged you, which means she thinks you can help. I trust her judgment. <sighs> the amount of trust that these two characters have in each other is so sickening. Oh my god, they just, they trust each other so much and each other's choices to such a degree. And I want to throw up. I love them. Got it, Dila. We'll do what we can to help Branya out. Yeah, because it's like, um... Celie doesn't need to be there because she fully believes in Bronya's capabilities where she doesn't she doesn't have to be there because she knows Bronya can handle it and vice versa 
Bronya knows she can leave stuff to Celie because she knows Celie can handle it. They don't always need to be together because they have full trust and like and like faith in one another. That they just like they know that that whatever like they want to do, like they'll succeed. Come on, to Clipoth Ford. Man, I need those books though, thank you. Oh. These guys? Oh. Don't look like the seeds. Jeppy's here. The of the Supreme Guardian. Proceed no further. Miss Topaz. <sighs> <laughs> Bellabog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. Oh my god. <gasps> Topaz. See you later, Captain. Topaz! How could you, Topaz? I'm gonna get this level level 80 no matter what, you guys. Also, give me one second. I wanna blow my nose. Danger. Oh my god, my ear keeps getting plugged up for some reason. It's so annoying. Alright. Welcome back. I appreciate your help more than I can express. It couldn't have been more than you can astral express. Well, that's what friends are for, Branya. Aww. You don't sound like yourself. Is something wrong? I'm fine. I just... I haven't rested in a while. Oh. There's just too much happening all at once. I'm sure we can turn things around. We couldn't have foreseen all of this. I'm sure we could turn things around. They're moving quickly. Bellabog is crawling with their agents. All they talk about is asset evaluation. The silver lining is that apart from the mine incident you mentioned, there haven't been any major conflicts in other areas. I suppose Topaz must have issued an order against harassing the citizenry. Still, that hasn't stopped panic from building. People are confused. They don't know where these strangers in black came from, Aww. nor what their intentions are. Did you manage to get in touch with Topaz again? We're curious to know what solution she has in mind. That's the reason I asked for you to come here. I need your advice. Look. Okay. Oh, I, I can't read this. Uh, it's... The contract Tope has sent to me a little while ago. There's a handwritten letter attached. Oh! Please, take a look at the contents. And then tell me your thoughts. Miss Branya, if you'll oh, God, me voiced. call you that, I'd like to share a story with you from my own life. Can I, can I, can I, can I just, can we just take a moment to, um, before we get into like the lore part, which is probably going to be a little bit heavier, um, can we just appreciate the gap here? This button truly deserves overtime. Give this button a six month pay increase. In your eyes, the IPC may seem heartless or cruel, but in reality, we all have a story to tell. As for myself, I was born on a small, unremarkable planet at the edge of the galaxy, a place whose name is known only to the native inhabitants. Aww. 
My home planet was extremely resource poor. To survive, people worked laboriously, manufacturing products for other civilizations in the galaxy, mostly in chemical or heavy industries. Given these circumstances, the natural environment of my home planet became increasingly harsh. I don't recall the exact moment when it happened, but people started wearing respirators just to walk down the street. All you could hear were the wheezing coughs of the people, day and night. So why is she trauma dumping? <laughs> Um, listen, Topaz, I get it, I get it, yeah, you, you, you grew up in a harsh, a harsh environment, almost like your Elo 6, um, okay, <laughs> please get to the point, thank you for voicing this though, because I would not have read it otherwise. My home was facing its demise, the relatively wealthy chose interstellar migration and started anew. The majority who stayed could only struggle on amidst sewage, acid rain, and dust, waiting for the end. Finally, one fateful day, the IPC arrived on my home planet. They had the technology to repair our planet's damaged environment. In return for their help, they asked for just one thing, that all inhabitants sign a contract which would make them employees of the IPC. Um. Girl, 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 you are a victim. Oh my god, girl. Um. Dude, she is a straight up victim. The IPC came in. Bruh, yeah, indentured servitude. Like, oh yeah, we'll save your planet, but only if every single person works for us? Like, well, who's gonna live on the planet then? If everyone has to go work for the IPC? Two years after signing the contract, the dark clouds and haze disappeared. And people began to take off their masks. They disappear among the sea of after butterflies? three years, <clears throat> vegetation and trees began to grow and thrive again. After five years, many animals, previously on the brink of extinction, we appeared. When I was finally old enough, I officially became a member of the Strategic Investment Department. I witnessed the changes that took place on my home world and was determined to bring the same changes to many other worlds in the galaxy that were experiencing the same plight. Yeah, but then you had to sell your soul to the IPC. I am writing to you, Miss Branya, with the genuine desire to express something important. I know freedom is precious to people, but in reality, there are things of much greater value, such as survival. Okay, I can understand where Topaz is coming from, but there's a main difference. There's a main difference. Topaz's planet was going to die without IPC intervention. Bellabog is slowly recovering. They just have a debt that popped up out of nowhere. If the IPC left them completely alone, they are recovering. The IPC is the problem here. The IPC is what's causing the issue of Bellabog. They are surviving. They The Stellaron has been dealt with. So like, bruh. How many generations of Bellabogians will it take to embrace the stars again without assistance? Who can guarantee that every future guardian will be as prudent and enlightened as you? How can you guarantee that a disaster such as the Stellaron Crisis will not descend upon Bellabog yet again? I have already negotiated the best possible deal for you. Once you sign this contract, all of Bellabog's debts will be forgiven. In addition, the IPC will set up a special team to support the reconstruction of Urillo 6. I can understand that for you, this is an extremely difficult decision because you and you alone will bear the fate of all Bellabogians. Oh my God. But because of this, I believe that you will make the right 
decision. A decision that will truly benefit your people. Dude, can we just call Asta? I don't want the Bellabogians to be subject to the IPC forever. Um, can we, can we, can we just hit up Asta to, to cover this debt? Please? <laughs> Asta, Asta will, Asta's got us. Her words do sound quite sincere. What do you make of it? I think so too. She has a way with words. She's a smooth talker, but that doesn't mean she's telling the truth. I think she is telling the truth though. Um, she has a way with words. Yes, she is a high-ranking member of the IPC, after all. She knows how to use words to her advantage. That she does. In any case, she wasn't wrong when she said this would be an extremely difficult decision. Damn, who knew? Borny getting adopted would lead to all this, man. This planet's fate. The civilization it carries, everything that's happened here, and everything that will happen, it all rests in my hands. This definitely can't, and shouldn't, be a decision made by me alone. Perhaps you should gain some insight from others first. I, I trust your judgment more than anyone else's. Well, my, my initial inclination is to pick number two because I think Bronia will make the best decision. But it's probably better for her to get some uh, insight from other people. That thought has crossed my mind. And it comforts me to hear you say that. I'm starting to think that the eternal freeze might have been better than taxes. Hey, man. You don't gotta deal with the IRS if you're dead. Just saying. Right. I don't think it's fair for you to carry the weight alone. Why not discuss it with others first? Topaz hasn't given me much time to consider. She wants me to decide as soon as possible. I wanted to put it to a vote and let all the citizens of both the overworld and the underworld have their say. But with such little time, I'm afraid that's a lost cause. Ask her of all, she's smart. I'll convene the Klopoth Fort Architects immediately to discuss the contract. As for the locals, I'd like you to gauge their stance on the matter. Wait, what? How are we supposed to explain this to locals, bro? That's what you get for evading taxes for hundreds of years? They didn't even know they had taxes to pay, bro! The people of Bellabog hold both of you in high regard. They'll most certainly be willing to tell you their thoughts. The race against the clock. Do I have voting rights? I think we should leave this matter to the Bellabogians. I just was curious. We've got your back. We failed to convince Topaz, but this should be a piece of cake. Thank you, March. I'll so pretty, I love Sonia. Let's meet up here again later. All right. Uh, if we want to make an informed decision, we need to hear from both the Overworld and the Underworld. Yes. Right? Let's start with the Overworld. Mm, why not the Underworld first, March? Hmm? 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 Are you being, um, underworldist by wanting to start with the, uh, overworld, huh? I talk to Serval first. Are you only gonna talk to Serval and Pela? That's so funny. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Hey. Oh, wow, look who we have here. Aww. You and March paying us a visit. What's the occasion? Oh, she sounds so happy to see us. <gasps> she sounds she sounds so happy to see us. I love you. Uh-oh. Sounds uh -oh. like something serious is happening. You'd better fill me in. What? How is that possible? <sighs> I need a moment to wrap my head around this. Serval, we're racing against the clock. No time for head wrapping. <laughs> March is so cute. It's okay. I've thought it through. If it were up to me, I'd sign the contract. What? What? Hold on. Are you serious? Yeah, what? I thought you'd be against it for sure. Is this my serval? What? Surprised? My reasons are pretty simple. Signing this contract would mean we no longer have to worry about surviving. For most of the residents here, especially those in the underworld, 
That would be more than enough to persuade them. As for working for the company, <laughs> people need to work no matter where they are, right? If the IPC tries to take too many liberties, we can always rise up against them. Girl. You know, I've always longed for the stars since I was a child, which is why I devoted myself to science and the studying of the Stellaron. If someone told me that I could do whatever research I wanted with only a small price to Girl, pay, it's a little bit of a big price. I probably wouldn't hesitate. I see. I suppose that makes sense. Thanks for your input. I'll make a note of your opinion. Girl. Girl. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to go in. I didn't mean to go in. Oh, hey. I've always long... Okay, I can't same thing. Okay. I'm gonna have to... Pela. I wonder if Pela's gonna agree or disagree, but she's also like 16. So like, why are we even getting her opinion to begin with? Careful now. We meet again. How have you two been? Uh oh. That look on your face tells me something's wrong. But I hope it's nothing too serious. Hey Pela, how are you feeling, Queen? Last time we talked, you were sobbing. I hope you're feeling better. Sounds serious. I'm all ears. be making things up I wish it were made up unfortunately it's all true you guys all right you guys did, did you not play Link's story quest Link's literally said listen I'm the first offender to say people are older but Link's literally said 16 years ago today Pela was born so, uh, they, they clear cut saying that, uh, she is in fact 16. Now, we don't understand necessarily what that means in maturity wise, cause we don't know like how like long a year is on your Relo 6, but Link saying that destroyed all lore that Pela has. It literally destroyed the lore in Pela, like in, in everything that Pela does, it literally made it make no sense. But, yeah, it makes no sense at all timeline-wise, but that is the official date that, that Hoyo gave us. We don't have much time, Pela. Branya wants to get everyone's opinion. Wait, you're telling me I have to make this huge decision on the spot? At least give me a few seconds to think it over. No. <sighs> okay, I think I've got it. Yeah, listen, man, I don't understand. I don't understand what they were doing lore-wise by saying Pela was 16. I, listen, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, we're gonna just ignore it. If it were up to me, I'd probably agree to the IPC's conditions. On, okay, you know what I can see happening? The overworld is, everyone's gonna agree with it, and the entire underworld is gonna disagree with it. <laughs> and then Brody is gonna have to make the decision. To agree with the over or the underworld. Huh. Okay. Any particular reason? I feel like I feel like that's what's probably about to happen. I've looked at some of the climate reports, and based on the data I've seen, it'll take three or four more generations for the snow to completely subside. And that's assuming no other disasters occur. I care more about those in the present than a future I can't be sure of. If the IPC is able to bring about immediate change, then I think that's a price well worth paying. Building a better world for future generations sounds great, right? But is it any fun for the engineers and architects who are directly involved in such a pursuit? I see. So compared to a distant and uncertain future because the um what you the really overworld is thinking is about sure safety and security and making sure that the future generations um are going to survive and i feel like the underworld prioritizes freedom and and their own individual rights more than um the overworld thanks for your input i'll make a note of your opinion 
Who's the last person that we're trying to get the opinion of? Where are they? I don't... Are we gonna go... Are we going to Jeppy? Are we going to Dune? Or Doug, whatever his name is. Dirk. Done. Is that the Trailblazers? It's been a while. I didn't think you'd be back in Bellabox so soon. Hey, Dunn, have you showered? It's been pretty hectic in the city lately. All these people dressed in black suddenly showed up, and even the Silvermane guards have had trouble dealing with them. Aw. Sorry, man. Do you need my opinion? I'm happy to help. I love his voice. Need my opinion? I'm happy so to help. That's who they are. It's worse than I imagined. The Madam Guardian must be under a lot of pressure. Is there really nothing we can do to assist her? We are here to gather everyone's opinion on the matter. I know this is a little sudden, but we're running out of time. What's your take? Why, I'd refuse the contract, of course. Oh! There is no room for compromise. Just look at them. Arrogant, stomping around here as if they own the place. How can such people be trusted? Who's to say they won't breach the contract? Giga Chad right there. Hell yeah, done. Hell yeah! Okay, my prediction for the underworld, all right? Celia is going to be like, hell no. Who, wait, who, who are they going to ask? I, I know they're going to ask Nat. So they're going to ask Celia, they're going to ask Nat, and then they're going to ask, who else is in the underworld? Sampi? Oleg? Oh, probably Oleg. I think Oleg and Celia are going to say, hell no. And I think Nat is going to be like, if everyone is safe, I could see Nat saying yes. Because she cares more about the well-being of people for the future. Um, but I, I feel like the other two would say hell no. Faced with this sort of coercion, we must resist them with all our might. Surrendering is not an option. Well, Luca and Hook would say hell no. You must warn the Madam Guardian not to allow herself to fall into their trap. A soldier's perspective is always valuable, Dunn. Thanks for your input. I'll make a note of your opinion. Thanks, Dunn. Uh, did we miss anyone in the overworld? I think we asked just about everyone we needed to. From what I've gathered, it seems like most people in the overworld are leaning towards signing the IPC's contract. We took a sample size of three, March. <sighs> We'd better hurry to the underworld and see what Natasha and Zila make of it all. I was right! I was right! I knew it! Is that the Pela again? Alright, that's same thing. Okay, same ship. Alright, let's go. Wrong crit, wrong button. Alright. We're gonna talk to. Okay, yeah, Oleg stands We're gonna talk to Oleg first. I wanna end with Nat. Well, Nat, I love people, you. There is noise. Bro, why are you so edgy? Was that the Oleg first? I just got reminded I forgot to file my taxes five months ago. Oh no, Topaz will be after me. You, you, fr you frog got? Well, you better hurry up and toad do it. I tried. I, I, I tried, okay? You guys have to put dot dot dot, that hurts more, okay? That, 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 that hurts, okay? I wasn't trying to riz, okay? <laughs> None other than the saviors of Bellabog. To what do I owe the pleasure? Do, but I can tell by the look on your faces, you're probably not dropping by to say hi. Let me guess. Something to do with these unruly people in black showing up everywhere? Yeah. Well, ask away. It just so happens I'm curious about them myself. Maybe I can be of some help. Maybe I can be of some help. I see. That's a tricky situation. It's IPC, right. actually. A lot for anyone to handle, let alone someone as young as Lady Bronya. Mr. Oleg, 
Out of all the people we know in Bellabog, you have the most life experience. What do you think we should do? Want to hear the truth? I'm afraid great ambitions and lofty plans no longer hold much appeal for an old-timer like me. If this IPC does indeed possess the magical power what? to restore Bellabog back to its former self overnight, have you considered the opposite? What about if we refuse? The reconstruction plan already sounds like an endless endeavor. And with the added burden of a massive debt, well, is that something we can manage on our own? Wait, he's actually making a really good point. What worries me the most is how Lady Branya will handle the backlash from her people. Aww. Will she be able to withstand the criticism? Is she prepared to carry the weight of a tarnished reputation for years to come? Bronya, the last Supreme Guardian. I think she can handle a little criticism. Huh. I guess I never looked at it from that angle. I wouldn't wish that title on anyone. Thank you for your thoughts, Mr. Oleg. Another vote for the four pile. That's actually really good advice from Oleg. Uh, wait, I want to talk to Nat last. I guess we're talking to Seely last. Hey, Nat. Oh my god, I missed you, Queen. I missed you. I missed you, Nat. Hey, Nat. It's been a minute. I gotta make sure that nothing. I just have to make sure that nothing happened. You know, just have to make sure. What brings you two to the underworld? And why the long face? It's just been so long since I last saw you. Seems a little out of the blue, but since you came all this way, it must be urgent. Yeah. It's super urgent. <sighs> that is a lot of information to take in. Sorry, both of you. I, I know you're in a hurry, but I need a moment to think. No stress, Nat. Just tell us what you really think. <sighs> I've thought about it, and oh, well, if I were Branya, I wouldn't sign it. What? I won't deny the offer on the table is a very tempting one. And if we refuse, Bellabog will not only Wait. have the burden of a huge debt. What? We may also incite the wrath of a very powerful force. But even so, a quote I read back in school came to me just now. Those who are willing to give up freedom for security will end up with neither. Damn. Damn. That's spoken like a true American right there. Hell yeah, brother! Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> red, white, and blue! <laughs> That's why Nat's wearing red, white, and blue. Caw, caw! Living in the underworld has taught me that this phrase is true. I'd rather trek through the frigid snow plains than live in a beautiful cage. Damn. Wow. That's a pretty convincing argument. That's... Oh my god, Nat. I mean, she convinced me, bro. Another vote for the against pile. Thanks for your insight, Nat. Bro. Look at her, look at her. She said this most profound statement on Earth and she goes back to just looking perfect. I love Nat. Oh, I love that. I'm, nah, I miss you. Can you show up in the story more often, please? Like, I feel like we raised you up really hard, and then you just, like, stopped showing up, and I miss you. I love you. I love you. All right, where's Celie? Oh, Svarog. Oh, I guess because we technically already know Celie's answer. <laughs> we know Celie's answer. So, like, <laughs> we don't even need to ask. <laughs> hey, Clara. Oh, we're asking Clara. I thought we're asking... Miss March, big sister. What brings you to the underworld? Hey there, Clara. Uh, is Sparog not around? Mr. Sparog went out for a walk with a lady called Topaz. Oh. What? Topaz? Do you know where they went? Uh, 
I'm not sure, but Mr. Sparrow promised he'd be back soon. Uh, what now? Sparrow looks super logical. We should definitely get his opinion. At least Clara's here. Clara's opinion is just as important. True. Don Hung's always saying that Clara's really insightful for her age. Huh? Miss March, do you want to ask me something? Um, excuse me, I'm right here. Hmm. I like how we're just asking a child. Uh, that's complicated. I don't know what to say. Girl, me too. It's alright, Clara. No pressure. Just tell us how you feel about it. Hmm. I... I think if we have a choice for the future, it should be everyone's decision. Are you saying... Democracy? Clara? Are you proposing... Democracy? That's a little, uh, that's a little American of you. Because when I was playing with Hook, the moles, and the other kids, we talked about our dreams. Everyone has different dreams. If we accept Miss Topaz's offer, then doesn't that mean our dreams will never come true? Damn. Just taking away people's dreams like that. Oh. I don't know. It feels wrong. Yeah, it is wrong. We can't take away people's dreams. You're right. Children see the world as a place where anything is possible. Oh, just the thought of our lives being predestined from birth makes me shiver. Thanks, Clara. Your thoughts mean a lot to us. <sighs> All that running around has worn me out. So, the final conclusion is... The votes are completely even. Uh, I don't know what to do. Both sides have really compelling arguments. I'm still saying... I'm still saying. We offer Topaz the two nights with Himeko to completely erase the debt. I'm just, I, I feel like, I feel as though she should take the offer. I, I feel like, I feel like she should take it. Two, yeah, not one, two. You know what? You know what? We'll throw in a third night. We'll, th we'll throw in a third night on the house. Only Brony. What, yeah, one more well, person. Right. We have an Asila. She's probably still in the great mine helping the miners. Come on, let's get going. I, I, I mean, I, I know what Celia's gonna say. She's, she's definitely gonna say hell no. She's like hell no, brother. Back so soon? Are you, are you feeling all right? You look a little uneasy. Aw. We need your opinion. Important matter, huh? I can tell from your tone that this isn't going to be a lighthearted chat. But I'm ready to hear it. I... I think I get it. At first... I thought it was just a few IPC ruffians overstepping their boundaries. Yeah, you didn't think the future of Bellabog was at stake, right? Right. Hmm, no time! As it stands, the votes are even. Your opinion will make all the difference. Why would you tell her that, Marge? In that case... I... I abstain. Seely? What? Your vote is extremely important. You have to shoulder this responsibility. I thought about it. This responsibility rests on Branya's shoulders, not mine. <sighs> I'm sick of Sims. I'm sick of Sims. Just make the choice for her, okay? Brony has enough to deal with. Seely, just make the freaking choice! matter the choice she makes she has far greater foresight than i do 
She can see the bigger picture more clearly than I can. Yeah, Celia's the bottom, bro. She always has to make sure, like, oh, like, how is Bronya feeling first? The vote is tied. If I were to give you my view, it would tip the scales and possibly impact her final choice. I'll respect whatever decision she makes, but it's not my place to make it for her. Oh, it's such a loving and healthy relationship. Yeah, yeah, it's such a loving, healthy relationship. You just want Brony to make her best choice as possible, and you don't want to influence a choice either. Understood, Zila. This is a difficult decision to make, and everyone feels differently about it. God, this is such homosexual activities. It's times like these that a leader must stand up and do what's needed. Right. It's Branya's decision. She knows what's at stake. She won't run away from her duty. I trust her wholeheartedly. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I hate them. I love them so much. I hate them. They're so loving and trusting. It's disgusting, bro. Where's my toxic Yuri? Where's my toxic? Where's the toxic Yuri? I'm sick of this healthy relation. Where's where's the toxic stuff, huh? Huh? Where 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 where's the where where when are they gonna like spit in each other's mouth or something? If she asks you, just let her know my reasoning. You can tell her yourself. She'll understand. <sighs> well. It's all in Branya's hands now. She has to make the final call. She plays a crucial role in this world. Do you trust her judgment? You bet. The Express can vouch for Branya. That says a lot about her character. Uh, time has come. Let's go fill her in. I'm curious to see how she's handling those Klopoth ministers. I can't believe. I can't believe you just abstain, Celie. I can't believe this. In a good mood, huh? Huh? Did they not voice this? Oh. Okay, well, understandable. Have a nice day. Can I not just... Oh, can I not just teleport to Klopoth? Close your mouths. I'll do it after the after we finish uh, the there the quest. Are people, there is noise. Whoa, the fort's packed. Oh wow! I've never seen this many people here before. Jeez, oh, I can barely even hear myself think. Oh gosh. Oh no, she's about to go sicko mode, bro. We're doomed. We're doomed. You know what this reminds me of? In SpongeBob, that one guy that always goes, "My leg." You know what I'm talking about? What are we supposed to do? Oh, poor Bronya. Oh, baby, look at all this. March, you're back. Okay, I, what am I, chop liver? So, what's the verdict? What do the people think? It's 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 a 50-50 split, bro. We talked to people in both the overworld and the underworld. The final result was a tie. Uh, I see. I suppose everyone has their own way of seeing things. I can't say I'm surprised. What was Zila's perspective on the matter? I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. She's behind you, whatever you decide. She thought it wasn't her place to say. She didn't ask about Serval. She didn't ask about Pela. She didn't ask about Natasha. She didn't ask about Nat. No, she asked about Celie. I should have known. That sounds like Zila, all right. Oh God, I'm sick of them. Did you come to a conclusion with the ministers? Oh, it's so loud, I can't tell what anyone's saying. I hope you guys know, I, I do adore them. Uh, this is me just being bitter. I, I love them. It's pretty much the same situation here. Neither party is willing to compromise. 
You thought Seelie would be against the contract in the story? I think personally Seelie is probably against it, but if there's one thing that Seelie uh, values over her own opinions, it's Bronya. And Seelie has full faith Bronya will make the correct decision, even if she personally disagrees with it. So Seelie did not give her personal opinion just because she knows whatever choice Bronia makes is one that she trusts and supports full heartedly. Time has come to make a decision. This chaos cannot be allowed to continue any longer. No, I don't want to make a choice. I don't want to make a choice. I'm scared. Ooh. Oh. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Wait. <gasps> what? To say to the Supreme Guardian. What? What? Uh, but uh, aren't you? What? She gets off the train? What? Whoa! 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. I had no idea she go- What? Uh, Himeko? Wait, is that the real you or a hologram? <laughs> wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's the real me, March. Real as they come. Oh my god, you're so pretty. I love you. Oh my gosh. Miss Himeko, from the Astral Express? I... It's an honor. Thank you for all your help in our previous... campaign. Things might have turned out differently without your support. I really enjoy how the entire room shut up because Himeko showed up. Like, yes, yeah, show respect. If we had known of your arrival beforehand, the architects would have given you a proper welcome. I'm afraid the current circumstances are quite... exceptional. I understand, Miss Rania. No need to explain. Your city is facing immense difficulties. My intention is simply to ensure that you have all the relevant intel. I really enjoy how Himeko feels like the mom coming in because like this two like her her two like children got sent to the principal's office and and the mom has to come talk to the principal. That's the vibes. It's like I know Still and Marsh are not in danger or like not in trouble at all, but it's just like the way that they're standing and like he goes just like in front of them. It's the vibe. She's <laughs> like, so what if my child bit another student? Were they provoked? Did you ask why she bit another student? It's like it's like that. <laughs> like. <laughs> Do you have a solution, Himeko? Can you have come a bit sooner? <laughs> <They're so funny. laughs> the life of a navigator is a busy one. You should be glad that I made it in time. No, I'm not speaking from personal experience. I've never got sent to the principal's on uh, office. I was a good kid, okay? There is some important information that I must pass on to you, Supreme Guardian. It is my hope that it will better equip you to make a wise and informed decision. Yes, tell, please tell us. Information. Please tell me what you know, Miss Himako. I happen to have a friend with knowledge of Topaz. What Topaz said about her home world is indeed true, which is why she believes that the IPC's takeover of Bellabog is the only way of ensuring the city's survival. Okay. But there is one thing she intentionally left out. Not all worlds that have accepted the IPC's terms have been saved. Bruh. Bruh. You mean... So even if they accept, it's not a guaranteed savior or saving of like Eurilo 6. Performing ecological reconstruction on a planet carries inevitable risks. According to the intel provided by my friend, 
The success rate for the ecological reconstruction of worlds using the IPC's technology is 63%. A 60-40? Girl. Girl, no, don't say- No, no. You're always gonna lose a 60 Bro, I lost a 75-25. I literally lost the 75-25. That's not worth it at all. Only 63% of planets succeed? That's not exactly comforting. This is the overall average across all IPC projects. The success rate of projects personally handled by Topaz is above 80%. Okay, wait, that's right. She's okay, undoubtedly that's a lot better. one of the most capable people in her field. But, okay, but that's, that's, that's only like four out of five. That means one out of every five planets fails. I wanted to bring these numbers, these probabilities, to light. I think it's only fair that you know all the facts before making a decision. Ultimately, it's up to you, Supreme Guardian, to make the final call. I understand. Thank you, Miss Himiko. This information is of great help. Regardless of how alluring their promises may be, this contract is nothing more than a gamble. It is a As gamble. As a leader, I cannot let the future of Bellabog hinge on a roll of the dice. A roll of the dice. Now that you've decided, I don't have to pretend to be impartial anymore. I think you're making the right choice, Branya. <laughs> I love you. I love Himeko, bro. Oh, I love her. Yeah, I don't think they should sign. I, I, I mean, the moment, the moment Nat said, for those who give up freedom for whatever, for success or whatever, we'll find neither. I, and once she said that, once she said that, I, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm team don't sign the contract. Oh. Oh, is it security? Okay, thank you. Astro friends, I have an idea, but for it to work, I'll need everyone's cooperation. I need some time to rally all the residents in the city, and then I'll meet with Topaz again. Please locate her for me. It doesn't matter where she is or what she's doing. And if the IPC is still trying to take over Bellabog's assets, I ask that you do everything in your power to stop them. Hell yeah, Supreme Guardian! Don't worry. Leave it to us. We'll find her. It won't be easy dealing with her, but these two will help me get the job done. Heck yeah. Bellabog's future is not for sale. And we'll never forget the friends who stood by us in our time of need. Not once, but twice. That's my supreme guardian right there. That's my supreme guardian right there. Oh, God, I love Bronya. Stay safe, everyone. Stay safe. Stay safe, trailblazers. Oh, I love her. I lo I'm so glad she made the right choice. Oh, my God, I'm so glad she made the right choice. We can talk here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jeppy's here. You can share your reports with the crew. Yes, Lady Bronya. Did you have a fight? Did you fight? Bronya's so responsible. She doesn't gamble, bro. Supreme Guardian ordered me to garrison in River uh, Rivet Town. Silver Main Guard. Uh, it went smoothly at first until Bass herself appeared with some special technology that allowed her to seize control of all of our automatons in an instant. It seems Tobaz is heading for a certain area in the depths of Rivet. Oh, I, 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 I want to read. Uh, in Rivet Town, da, 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 Svarog is with her. Uh, I hope not. My instinct tells me there's something behind this. Uh, we know where we can find Tobaz. Let's go, March, baby girl. Let's go. Shepard should be waiting for us in Rivet Town, right? Wait, wait. Is Himeko going with us? Wait. Is 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 Topaz gonna is Topaz gonna meet Himeko? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is Topaz about to meet Himeko? Bro. Here we go again. 
Back to our old stomping grounds for another adventure. Oh, hey, it got quiet in here. Wait, where's Bronya? Oh, there she is. Hey, babes. How you feeling? Welcome to Bellabog, Trailblade. Okay, well, okay. Okay, well. Oh my god, I can't believe she's gonna accept our proposition to forgive all We're of Be people. Bellabog's debt there for, for two nights with, with Himeko. Hey, Jeppy. The Supreme Guardian has briefed me on the situation and asked that I assist you in locating Topaz. Ready to enter Rivet Town? We'll go in together when everyone is set. I love him. Keep your guards up. We might run into IPC agents ahead. Challenge. I'm going to go with my, my team with Stell on it because I just want Stell. I want to run around to Stell. Destination reached. The Pokemon Arena. Oh my god, you guys. This is just the plot of Pokemon 2000. Is that the first Pokemon movie? Am I thinking of the right one with Mewtwo? Wow. Would you look at that? Huh. I never would have guessed it'd be here. But I don't see any mech or weapons. This place is oh, she that's completely Lugia. surrounded okay. by mountains. Surely they they can't be. Affirmative. The weapons are concealed within the towering rock formations. The towering rock formations. No wonder we couldn't find the automaton factory. It was right under our noses all along. Wait a minute. You said these weapons have been hidden here from the very beginning? That means the architects of Urillo 6 never used them in their fight against the Legion. Correct. After the IPC departed from this world more than 700 years ago, no one has possessed the necessary knowledge for activating these weapons. Wait, if we never use the technology given to them, then we shouldn't have to pay the debt because we never used it. The architects used the IPC blueprints to construct- Um, excuse me, warranty. However, warranty, we have the receipt. The majority of the combatants, commanded by Elisa Rand, were human. Excuse me, um, I'd like to apply for the extended warranty. Um, this has never been used, and we have the receipt. So, we'll give it back. I see. The stories about this world are truly captivating. I would like to ask you a question, Topaz. You even call her Miss Topaz. Doesn't Svarog refer to March 7 as Miss March? Or am I going crazy? <laughs> You're awful polite for a big robot. Ask. Don't be shy. If the IPC does not intervene, this world is doomed. Are you convinced of this conclusion beyond any doubt? Yeah, beyond any reasonable doubt, are you absolutely, positively convinced about this fact? <sighs> yes. I've gone through countless case studies and they all point to the same conclusion. Mm. Any world that comes into contact with a Stellaron is doomed. On the surface, things may appear to be getting better since the Astral Express lent a helping hand, but sooner or later, the underlying problems will resurface. A looming crisis can often lie hidden beneath the illusion of prosperity. The illusions of the past. Unnoticed by many. Understood. Understood. That's it? You don't have any thoughts on the matter? Well, he is a robot. Emotional readings indicate that your response is sincere and accurate. That is all I wish to confirm regarding this matter. While my opinion on the future of this planet may differ from yours, it ultimately holds no weight. I am merely a tool. Not the decision maker. Oh, Svarog, you're more than that. <laughs> if only my colleagues had the same self awareness as you. Come on, Numbi. We've got some assessing to do. I 
loves Farog. I miss his Hope old voice though. Disappeared after leaving Rivet Town. In her absence, her subordinates flooded in and took over. The IPC soldiers are well equipped. It wouldn't be wise to fight them head on. Captain, what do you have in mind? Oh my God, Captain. You're right, Miss Himiko. We'll be using the automaton stealth bomb to cover our tracks. Automaton stealth bomb? B bomb? I'll explain later. Let's get moving. What are we doing? Hello? Look, down there! It's the IPC! Not the IPC, bro. Greatness in the making! Thank you for the tier 1 for 6 months, gamer! Thank you, I appreciate that. Keep noise to a minimum, everyone. No, not a stealth mission! We don't want to alert the enemy to our presence. It's time to deploy the automaton stealth bomb. No, I don't want to stealth. Use the automaton stealth bomb to wipe out the IPC threats. Remember, try to avoid being noticed. Remaining hidden will increase our chances of success. Okay. Uh, control it, uh, 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 press attack button. Uh, okay. I just have to get behind it. Bro, they're not hiding over there. <laughs> Boom. Oh, wow. We wiped them all out in a single explosion. There was only one of them. That's what you call efficiency. There, there was only What do you mean all of them? We had to resort there to was this one. Method, but we had no choice. Uh, you silver main guards sure are a righteous bunch. Mar March? What do you mean a right? Mar March? Wait. How many people has Mar- has Wait, 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 wait. That opens up a few questions. How many people has March 7th killed? Hold on. Hold on. How many people- Uh. At least seven. <laughs> I've seen standard issue robots like these before. It's an IPC field team leader. Bro, I got confused. I'm like, whose voice is that? I'm just not used to hearing Kimiko, you know, speak during, uh, during, you know, missions. Correct. The exterior is similar to the Grizzly, but its weapons and armor are more advanced. Hopefully, the automaton stealth bomb will still be effective. Let me know. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm spinning like a ballerina. Kaboom! Boom. Oh, Woohoo! The coast is clear! <laughs> Woohoo! To be honest, I didn't think it would be so powerful. Good thing everything went according to plan. One shot, one kill. Boom. This is the road that Topaz took when she left Rivet Town. Okay. Let's find her and tell her about Branya's decision. Ah, this time, the gloves are off. It, your glove is still on, March. Ooh, is this a new map? Ooh. Hold on, the music. Hey, Swarog. I don't want to trigger a cutscene just yet. 
Wow! Ooh! Sorry, I'm just, you know, I'm just looking around, you know? Hey, Swarog. Mr. Swarog? Are you alright? I hope Topaz and her IPC henchmen didn't hurt you. Greetings, outsiders. System functions are normal. I have had no conflict with the IPC's representatives. I thought we might be facing off against each other for a moment. Such a result would be highly undesirable. I love Sparog. Topaz is ahead. He's such a good boy. She had the means to force me to comply with her orders, but chose not to. From her perspective, the only way to preserve Bellabog is by incorporating it into the IPC. While I do not agree with her viewpoint, I lack the computational power to provide evidence to the contrary. While it is unlikely, I still encourage the avoidance of any potential conflicts. Topazing respecting boundaries is so sexy. Unlikely potential? Meaning there could still be conflicts. Don't worry, March. The Express never pursues conflict as a first means. But if it comes down to it, we won't back down either. That never back right. down, never what? As long as we can look at ourselves in the mirror and know we did the right thing, that's all that matters. Wow, this map is so cool. Wow. Such a cool map. Why would Topaz come here? Is she looking for something? It's possible. Many mysteries. Oh my god, it's like we're going off to the, the final battle of this world. All right. Oh my God, we're literally. Like, I feel like we're like it's, it's a pokey battle now. Oh, hey there, Slowpokes. I was starting to think you weren't gonna show up. Oh my God, wait, wait. Topaz is gonna meet Himeko. <gasps> okay, okay. Topaz is about to. Okay, when is she gonna realize that Himeko is like right there and like? And when is she gonna like you know, you know like you know? Hmm. Oh. This lady next to Miss March looks oddly familiar. Uh huh. Oh. <gasps> Pleasure to meet you, Miss Topaz. I'm Himiko, the Astral Express's navigator. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to sit up for this. Hold on. I need to sit up for this. Oh, wow. I remember now. The illustrious Miss Himiko. Illustrious. Some of my colleagues dream about meeting you. Himiko's that famous. Do I have any fans? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Himeko, is that famous? Of course! The Nameless have quite the reputation. You're following in the footsteps of the great Akavili, after all. I'm pleased to see how well everyone's been getting along. Topaz, based on your greeting... Um, I see a dream of, of meeting her. Good grasp of the current situation? Of course! The deadline has already passed, but... Branya still hasn't signed the contract. I think I can guess what's holding her back. Uh-huh. Please, don't misunderstand us, Miss Topaz. We have no intention of opposing the IPC or its board of directors. But we have very dear friends on Urillo 6. It seriously is giving mom talking to principal vibes. Like the way that Stell and March are just like hiding in the corner. Standing idly by and watching them sign an unfair contract goes against everything the ah, is that's about. Work. Oh, that's work. Bro, bro, after this is done, they're going back to the they're going back to Himeko's room, all right? There's a reason we're not allowed in there. Um, Miss Himeko, sorry for interrupting, but this doesn't sound like a negotiation. We needn't waste our time, March. She made her decision 10 minutes ago. What? 
<laughs> There's no fooling the Astral Express. Wait, what happened? What happened? You're absolutely right. Differing views don't necessarily mean one person is right and the other is wrong. However, to keep things moving forward, there's usually only one solution. What, what's going on? Huh? What do you mean? Gosh, she looks so, like, ingy. My superiors have granted me the approval I need. Um, approval for what? Your vacation time has been approved? <laughs> I wish. <sighs> Damn, that's corporate life, huh? So many eager faces. I won't keep you in the dark any longer. Uh. Approval to launch an attack on the members of the Astral Express. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. He may go get on the train. He may go, he may go, go on the train. The best kept secret <gasps> is something over the line. Always be ready to turn the tables. Go, Numby. She basically said, I choose you, Pikachu. Like, what, what's going on? Projects under my wing have no room for error. That was really cool. I would like to say I love how much they're incorporating cutscenes with this um, with this quest. It's really it's really nice. It's really adding a lot of flair and like excitement because you never know when like another cutscene is gonna happen. <laughs> well, the preservation. Stand still. Oh yeah, Potas. I still want to kill Numbi. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this quest. <laughs> Little preservation. <laughs> to betray my customers, I charge extra. <laughs> I feel like Team Rocket. I have to capture Numbi, okay? Time to say bye. Boom. <gasps> Netmark effective. Time for good old counter attack. Does this mean we'll still get the Himeko Tobas? Cause he may be, I don't know. Is there even a cut? Don't answer that question if there is. You love Space China, but in all honesty, Bellabog stuff just feels better. It's mainly because um the difference between Bellabog and the Lol Fu stuff is simply the Bellabog plot is very much character driven and how these characters are dealing with the world. And so you get a lot more interpersonal struggles. Like we're, we're seeing how these characters are reacting to an unfortunate situation. And while the Lol Fu does have that, it doesn't focus as heavy on Can the characters and there's more right. world lore. So. You feel less connected to the characters in the Lofu simply because they're focusing a lot more on the actual lore of like the world and the lore like in between like like all of that. But Bellabog is so focused on how these characters are living in the moment and how they are handling everything there. I haven't played Jinglu's quest yet. I'm talking about the main stories, okay? I'm not talking about character quests. I'm not talking about side quests. I'm talking about full-on story quests. Um I personally prefer Bellabogs because they just, they're self-contained. You learn about all of them. You get all of their different viewpoints and you, and you learn to love them because of that. And I think th the reason the stories just feel more like heartwarming is, is just cause you, you get to connect with characters more. You personally prefer world lore. Good for you. You love the Lofu. I don't. I personally like character driven story quests. Which is nice that they're giving us both options, but for me, it it makes it feel it just makes it kind of drag on for me. Um, yeah, it just makes it kind of kind of just feel like it just 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 drag on a lot. I just feel like the Bellabog's a lot more like self-contained, and you see a lot more of the playable characters more often. And I guess I I personally I just like that better. It's it's my own personal opinion. I personally I'm a Bellabog simp through and through. I will forever 
uh, be Bellabog on top. I don't care where we go, Bellabog's gonna be my number one. And that's about it. But yeah, it's also Yuri Nation. And uh, Lofu is Yaoi Nation, and that's stinky. Targets detected. Mm. Enemy targets Stand detected. Still. Enemy data sync net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. I'm excited for Pentacony as well. Good times. Time, time to, to say, say bye. bye. Boom. You could have just started with Yuri Nation. Listen, I wanted to at least talk about the point. actual reason why I prefer one over the other be before just defaulting to Yuri, okay? <laughs> Say bye to breathing. Ready for another? Ready for <laughs> another? God, I love Nihility. Oh, the slow clap. Incredible. No wonder the Astral Express is so highly regarded. Finished warming up? Now it's my turn. Oh, oh, why? What? Was that necessary? Was it? Was it truly necessary for for them to do a close up on the boobs? I I, I feel like that was that was that was I I feel like that wasn't that. Stop! All of you, put down your weapons. Another fighter. Uh, Branya, ah, look how proud she looks. Just in time, things were about to get out of control. Dude! Oh my God! Look how proud Himiko looks. I my heart is like melting right now. A supreme Guardian. I was starting to wonder whether you'd left the Express Crew to fend for themselves. <laughs> that would hardly be becoming of you. You know what else is gonna be coming? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I listen. I held back so many jokes. I held back so many jokes this entire stream. I feel like I deserve that one. Okay. I I feel like I feel like I I I, I earned it. I would never do such a thing. There was an important matter that required my attention. Oh. More important than this? <laughs> She's so pretty. I love Topaz. Uh, I okay. I'm having mixed feelings about Topaz. I think Topaz is a very interesting character, but I also wanted to get the hell out of Bellabog. <laughs> I really I like her. I think she has very complex, um, very complex morals and um, reasonings and motivations. And I think she's a very interesting character, and I want to know more about her. But I also want her to leave Bellabog alone. She's great writing. Believe you're real 06. Yes. I think you'll understand the significance once you see it. In short, I need you to help us evaluate our current progress. Help you? Hmm. That's interesting. I was under the impression you'd already decided to obstruct our operations here. I have read your letter word for word, Miss Topaz. And your childhood experiences truly touched me. Your hometown once experienced a similar catastrophe to Yorillo 6. So I can understand your perspective on the issue and the position you have taken. It's because of this empathy you have that I still hold out a glimmer of hope. Despite all that's happened, mm -hmm. I hope we can still find common ground through peaceful means. Yeah, peaceful means. I have to admit, talking to you is always such a pleasure. I apologize for my behavior just now. It, it was uh, inappropriate. Oh. Wait. Oh, come on. Oh, you. Okay, guys, come on. You. Uh, you can't. Like, she apologized. I admire your determination. Seeing as we've come uh, this far, I've changed my mind. 
I'll hold off a little longer and see what you have to show me. But remember, winning over the higher ups won't be easy. She got yeah, the Supreme Guardian Riz, bro. It's too powerful. I understand. That's why I've been taking things one step at a time. The first step was changing your mind. Oh. Members of the Express, we'll need your help too. I mean, that's what we do here is help Bronya whenever, whatever, whatever, whenever you need it. We're we're here for you, baby. What a dismal sight. This district. Have you been here before? Yeah. Yes. This is where we put an end to it all. <gasps> are we taking her to... And then began again. Wait, are we taking her to like... That's right. You know, where her mom died? Are we, are we, are we taking her there? Kyle, sorry for the delay. Kyle? Are we clear to proceed? So you're telling me we got names in Bellabog. Bronia, Seely, Serval, Japard, Lynx, Pela, and Kyle. <laughs> Freaking Kyle, bro. The path ahead is clear. This Madame is Oleg's Guardian. voice. You and your companions can proceed north without hindrance. Th That's Oleg. Bro. <laughs> That's literally just Oleg. <laughs> oh, it's just Oleg put a mask on, bro. Oh, Oleg. Excellent. The mountain road ahead is a little treacherous. Watch your step. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What is this place? We've never been here before. Oh, right? yeah. This is the where we killed your mom. <sighs> We've only recently discovered this domain. Let's keep moving forward. What I want to show you is just ahead. Ooh, this music, though. Ooh, I love the violin. Ooh, chest. Oh no, a new area for me to run around for 10 years to find all the chests. How many? There's only five in this area. Okay. Aww. That's so pretty. Oh, Sir Ball's here! Oh, and that! The people of the <gasps> oh, Jabby! Oh my god, I would fold. I just want to give them a chance. Do you two recognize that broken down machine over there? Oh my god, the muse. I, oh, I love guys. I love Bellabog so- I'm genuinely- Bellabog makes me so emotional. It's just such a good- I just really love Bellabog. It's so- I get so emotional thinking about Bellabog, like, as, like, a whole. Like, it's just such a good region. Like, truly such a great region. Hey, that's a Oh, they're so cute. It's called the Engine of Creation. Do you remember it? I mean, yeah. Miss Topaz, I know you've done a lot of research into Bellabog. I was wondering if there was any information on the Engine of Creation in your records? Not at all. Which is why I find it so incredible. Such a massive feat of engineering, yet there's not a single mention of it in any of the Strategic Investment Department's reports. I may know the reason why. 
The engine of creation was constructed solely by the people of Bellabog without any external assistance. Hell yeah, brother! That's Bellabogian! Never back down, never what? When it comes to Bellabog. You like how we are just not leaving <laughs> Bellabog? We, <laughs> we just keep coming back. You know what? I, I truly believe Hoyo added Bronya here. Because they Bronya is the favorite child. I, I truly believe Bronya is probably um, Hoyo's like favorite character amongst all the video games that they create. And thus, Bronya is in Bellabog. We will constantly go back to Bellabog. Bronya, where Bronya is, is where the heart is. She is home. We just keep going back to her no matter what. The project was led by the first Supreme Guardian, Alyssa Rand. While warriors fought on the front lines, the engineers worked tirelessly behind the scenes, designing and constructing it. So what you're saying is, the engine of creation was a weapon constructed by the Bellabogians themselves? Yes, but not entirely. The engine of creation was commissioned for combat shortly after its completion and played a significant role in the battles against the Legion. But Alyssa Rand had a long-term vision, one that nobody anticipated. For a long time, this feat of engineering was codenamed the Geological Reconstruction Unit. I like how they're always looking at each other. Or March is always looking at Stell to gauge how she should react. It was actually given a much grander purpose. To help the Bellabogians rebuild their homeland and restore their world to its former glory. After driving away Stella, all like a true American with that line. It. I feel like... I... I feel as though... I feel as though... They should name it Bellaboggers. Instead of, uh... Bellabogians. I, I don't know. I, I feel like Bellaboggers sounds cooler. Like Poggers, but like Bellabog. Bellaboggers. Remarkable. A vision that would transcend both time and generations. Bellabogians. Madame Rand was truly an inspiring leader. I, not to take away from the Supreme Guardian in front of me. <laughs> She's quite the inspiring. Stop flirting. She's well. taken. Well, thank you. But I didn't really do anything. All I did was bring the people of Bellabog together and make them aware that our hard-earned freedom was under immense threat once again. If we want to preserve this freedom, we must act and show those who doubt us that we, Bellabog, have the will and the ability to control our own destiny. Heck yeah! The outcome of our mobilization speaks for itself. The children of Bellabog have made their decision. They have chosen to preserve this homeland with their own two hands. I must say, I didn't anticipate this at all. I'll fight for this opportunity for you, Branya. I shouldn't have conflated your own circumstances with my childhood. That was a serious lapse of judgment on my part. She Aww. My world never had a resolute leader, so people gave up on the idea of saving themselves long ago. But your civilization has persisted through the snow and storms for 700 years. A truly admirable feat. Then, are you willing to retract your previous decision? She's like a puppy, bro. I see the ears As perking the dead, up. We'll find a way to gradually repay it. But it'll take some time. Unfortunately, the acquisition of Urillo 6 is a strategic decision that's been approved by the IPC's top brass. Even if I wanted to overturn it, Convincing them would be extremely difficult. Unless... Oh? Oh, they want Himeko to riz them up. Don't worry, Miss Topaz. Myself and all of the Nameless aboard the Astral Express are willing to vouch for this world. 
god. They're willing to forgo a huge ass debt because Himiko was like, mm, yeah, I like I like your Relo 6. They're fine. You should forgive their debt. And they're all like, yes, Miss Himeko. Anything you say, Miss Himeko. Fantastic. That might just work. As for the uh, reports and potential accountability, I'll handle it. Aw, Topaz! Bro, her growth has been so good. Dude, her growth. Oh, this is so good. Alright, we gotta talk to everybody. We're gonna, we're gonna talk to March first. <sighs> I was worried things were gonna get ugly again. A peaceful solution is always the best solution. Yeah. Uh, speaking of solutions. Are they repairing that giant robot? The one we fought against? I... Oh, whoops, sorry. Remember you took control of it and helped us defeat Kakolia? I wonder if we'll have time to celebrate the Soul, Soul Worm Festival. I hope Topaz's negotiations go I want to I celebrate. Right, I totally forgotten. That's the whole reason we came here in the first place. Yeah. Well, looks like everyone in the city is helping with construction. I doubt there will be much time for celebrating. Uh, still, look on the bright side. We got to meet a top IPC executive. <laughs> the trip wasn't a complete waste, right? Yeah, we got to have a date night, which was nice. Hey, Himeko! You know, <laughs> I'd heard you and March speak highly of the Supreme Guardian before, but seeing her methods firsthand left me in awe. We should also be glad that Ms. Topaz is the one in charge of the Urilla 6 project. If it were someone else from the Strategic Investment Department, Things might have gotten complicated. Yeah. What do you mean, Himeko? You mean Topaz didn't make things complicated enough? <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? The Strategic Investment Department comprises the IPC's most elite employees, many of whom can be very forceful. Forceful? Let's talk about this later, when you're back on the Express. You and Marge must be tired after such an incredible journey. It's time you got some well-deserved rest. Hey, Himeko, now that I got you out of the express, can I, uh, can I ask, uh, something? Um, when, when can I get a room? You know, I, I've been here for, like, five months now, and, and I've been just sharing your room with March, but I, I, I feel like, I feel like it's time I, I've really, I've gotten, like, a room for myself. Like, I know there's, like, an empty one in the hallway. Uh, can I, can I have that room, please? Uh, like, I don't think anyone's in it, and I, I really just, I want my own bed. Okay, it's fine. Oh, I can't talk to Dune. Okay, I'm not okay. Well, is Nat here or something? I want to talk to other people. Okay, they're playing music instead of working. Go do your job. Okay, we'll go talk to Brom. Yeah. Miss Topaz. You mentioned accountability. Uh, don't worry, it's it's nothing I can't handle. There are more important things than titles and ranks. Finding the best solution is what matters most. Mm. Will they cut your pay? Won't you get fired? Will they cut your pay? If that's what they want to do. Then so be it. Aww. I've long passed the stage of working just for money. Topaz! Uh, thank you so much for all you've done. Topaz! Never the Express into a crisis again. Much less one that might cause a rift between you and the IPC. Rift? I wouldn't go that far. Also, it's me who's mostly to blame. I didn't keep my subordinates in check. Wait, Topaz is actually so good. Uh, mind putting in some good words for me with your boss? I don't want to work for the IPC. Is it true the IPC requires you to go through 17 rounds of interviews? 17? Oh, I think I might know who you're talking about. Uh, you could say he's, um, special case. Most wait, why? People, the interview process is much shorter. Wait, 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 wait. Why did he take 17 rounds? Wait, wait, wait. Glad we're able to discuss some lighter topics. 
<laughs> well, you all need some rest after everything you've been through. I have arranged rooms for you all at the Goethe Hotel. Miss Topaz, if you need somewhere comfortable to stay. Ah, I appreciate the offer, but I need to head back and deliver my reports. It's been great getting to know you both. I hope we can work together again in the future. Only next time under better circumstances. Aww. Why don't you head over to the Goethe Hotel and relax for a bit? Miss Topaz and I still have a few matters to discuss. Bronia, I want you to I want to remind you that you have a girlfriend at home. I just want, I want, I want you to just be aware. Okay? I'm sorry you didn't get to experience the festival atmosphere this time around. I promise. I'll make it up to you all next time. Why don't you head over to the- Hey, can I not talk to Topaz? I can't talk to Topaz? Okay, well then. You guys said I missed the chest somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right, let's go to Gerda. I like like the yellow art, like icon, like it's the orangey light. yellow icon better. Where to now? Then like the uh, the blue one, for not is it blue for for story quests? I've been wondering, how did you figure out what was happening here on Bellabog, Himeko? <laughs> well, you know. Keeping an eye on the crew was just another part of a navigator's job. So you were spying on our date? She she was spying on wait, uh, she, she 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 was spying on us? Uh you 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 definitely didn't hear when I offered to give you up for two nights, right? We I I, I definitely didn't uh, didn't offer a trade in which the debt would be forgiven, and and you would just spend two nights with Tope. Uh, yeah, I never. Ha 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 ha. Is the same hotel room that we stayed in before? I'm only allowed to sleep on the right side of the bed, apparently. March was looking forward to the Soul Warm Festival for ages. Looks like she's Mr. Chance this time. Are we really thinking about March before we go to bed? I never thought this trip would be so <sighs> tiring. Oh, I love MC. I love Stell. In light of the events that have transpired, we will be taking the following disciplinary measures against you. What? Your rank will be demoted from P45 to P44 with corresponding adjustment to your basic salary. Well, that's whatever. All bonuses for the current cycle will be revoked, including stock options and performance bonuses. Bruh. You will need to submit an additional report regarding this incident to Diamond. Who's Diamond? If you have any objections to this penalty, you may also file an appeal in writing. Who is this? I have no objections. Understood. Is there anything else anyone would like to add? If there are no further remarks, this meeting is concluded. Who is this? <laughs> oh, you only got demoted one rank? Phew, you dodged a bullet there. Who is this? A big project to mess up on. Someone must be looking out for you. Oh, they've already left the call. Oh, this voice changer is driving me crazy. Let me turn it off. Adventurine, why are you still on the line? Who, who is this? Adventurine? Hey, what's with the hostility? It's not like I'm your boss. That's oh, not wait. Sampo. I guess I am now. <laughs> My apologies. I'm still getting used to my new place in the hierarchy. Who is this? Can I help you? If you've got something to say, say it already. Oh, nothing important. Just checking in on you. I told you Yurillo 6 would be a high-risk, low-reward case. You know who he sounds why like? Why do you even bother? You know, I don't know why his voice... His voice was giving me, like, like war flashbacks. To Nagito. 
Just the way he's talking. Truly, is truly giving me Nagito war, like war flashbacks. <laughs> like... In our line of work, having a kind heart can be he more does sound like Scar though. Than an asset. If you're not careful, you'll end up leading yourself down a dead end road. Anything else? If not, I'm hanging up. Wait, hold on a minute. Don't <laughs> hang up. I get it. You're not in the mood for this conversation right now. Okay. How about this? Something that might interest you. While you were enjoying your playtime on Urillo 6, Diamond was busy taking care of the head honcho of the Building Material Logistics Department. That's why he didn't attend today's meeting. A... Terravan? Who are these people? That's right. The renowned Terravan. One of the seven board members. Oh no. He's throwing his support behind us instead of the marketing development department for once. <laughs> Oswaldo won't be laughing anymore. This is giving me like, you know, like. Wow. Uh, Sh 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 Shionan, thank you for the tier one sub. I appreciate you. This is giving me the vibes when um, when you finish like one arc in like a shonen manga. And then they announce, like, the seven bosses that you need to fight in the next upcoming arc. Diamond's been a great help to both of us. Your antics on such a crucial day can't exactly have painted the strategic investment department in a good light, you know? <sighs> Since you get the point, let's get down to business. I'm currently at Pierpoint. There's a major deal that could affect the whole department. I just so happen to need a reliable project manager for the job. What do you say, old friend? Huh. And what prompted the mighty Aventurine to start collaborating with What does with Aventurine look like? Panacone. What else? Wait! Wait, that's where we're going next? What? <laughs> that's right. Now that's the kind of reaction I was hoping for. Uh, hold on a minute. Diamond picked you for this project? I, I was expecting someone like Opal or uh, Obsidian. Oh! Diamond. At least someone higher than rank P46. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. I just realized they were all named after stones. I'm so... It it just came to me that they were, that they were all... That they were all named after stones. Honestly, who knows? The family has some pretty questionable characters. So they're the rock gym, me, okay. Doing business with them is a lost cause. But as we both know, the IPC does more than just business deals. Guess it's my time to shine. So, how about it? This is a rare opportunity. I kind of like his voice. You never know. You might even be able to make up for your blunder on your Rillo 6. Uh, it's not a blunder, okay? I'll get back to you later. <sighs> Seems like it's just one wild ride after another. Oh, Topaz, you got this, baby. Are you I cold? I hope I made the right decision this time. You did! <gasps> oh. <laughs> the snow is mesmerizing. Oh. Bellabog on top, man. Oh, what? She's what? But we haven't even we don't even have her yet. Who, who, who's wilder? <laughs> Oh, it's Magix. Thank you so much for the Prime Sub game. You only get one a month. Thank you for using it on me. 
Oh, is this Pokemon time? That quest was so good. Oh my god, that was such a good quest. That was such a good quest. Oh my god. True. Oh my, I really, I really enjoyed that. Like, everything started to fit. I feel like there was, like, not a dull moment. Like, I was truly engaged, like, the whole way through. Like, that was so good. Bro, I'm not even paying attention to what this man is, is talking about. I'm still, I'm still trying to recover from everything that just happened. Uh, it's funny. It just finished it and you love it. How long is the Pokemon event going to be uh, up for? You, took you three hours. That's what I said. I actually thought it was going to take me four hours, so this is pretty good. It's long. Okay, so I can wait until next week to work uh, to start it. Is is that what I'm understand? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh my god, that was so good. Oh my god, that was such a good event. League, that was such a that was such a good story. There's a few special voice actors they brought in for that event. Ooh! Look at Topaz's light cone to see adventure. Where's the light cone? Still sad Sampy didn't show up. Eh, he was he was running away from the government. I mean, from like the IRS. So do we blame him? Oh, this one? Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, he looks like a fuck boy. What are these glasses? What are these glasses? You guys, I'm about to say something. And I think half of you are going to be very disappointed in me. I love him. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I love him. You guys, he's blonde and a menace. What more? What more do I need? What more do I need than a blonde menace? Okay. Hey, no league talking. We're not allowed to talk about leagues here. From what I've heard, if this is truly him, um, I like him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you guys. I, I know. I know. I'm so sorry. No, you can only talk about vague dreams, but anything that's... No. Gotta be on the safe side, you guys. Oh, that was such a good quest. Oh, that was so good. That was genuinely such a good story quest. I, I truly appreciated that, like, fully. I love Bellabog. Bellabog on top. I will never love a region more than I love Bellabog. Oh, my heart feels so full right now. Like, truly, truly, like, I don't think you guys understand, like, I feel so satisfied with that quest. It was so good. It was, like, it was, it was amazing. We, we got to talk to, like, pretty much, like, almost everyone. We, we got to, like, you know, have some, like, starch moments. We, we got to see just, like, how much Bronia and Celie trust each other. You just, like, seeing conflict within Bellabog and how they resolve it and seeing like, that hope that got inspired throughout everyone. It was, it was just such a good quest. Oh, God, that was so good. Can we, like I said this before, can we just have a spinoff that's only Bellabog? Can we only have like a Bellabog? Can, can I get an RPG? Not a gacha game. A full completed game RPG just about rebuilding Bellabog? Please. Please, I want it. I want it so badly. Oh, hey, she's there. Hey, it's my first time on the Astral Express. I've heard quite a bit about the hospitality of the Nameless. Uh, 
shouldn't you be showing me around? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Don't make demands. You're right, my apologies. You seem quite at home already. <laughs> oh, so you've noticed. Well, we're hardly strangers. Better to skip the formalities, right? Do, do you want to... Do, do you want to go back to, to? I mean, I don't have a room, but do do you want do you want to you want to go find a closet or something? We can, you know. I'm definitely not the first IPC staff member to board the Astral Express. I've heard that the IPC and the Nameless cooperated frequently when Akavili the Trailblazer was still around. I've also heard that the board once considered spending a fortune to buy out the Astral Express. Oh my Express God! To make it part of their business. However, all their offers were quickly declined. Yeah, no, the Astral Express is ours. Just between you and me, I think declining the offers was a smart choice. Aww. Capital definitely plays a critical role in the universe. But if everything in the world revolved around it, then life you guys, would be a lot less romantic. You know what the the true the true goaded thing that I just realized? So you know who 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 has not boarded the Astral Express just yet, yes? Bronia and Seely. Do you know what that means? Do you guys know what that means? We definitely, at some point, are going to get more Bellabog because we haven't gotten them uh, onto the, the Express just yet, which means we're going to get more quests and we're going to eventually get story quests for each of them or a companion quests for each of them. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. All right. I think with that, we're going to end it here. It's already midnight, and I do have to travel tomorrow. Um, I don't think I'll be able to edit this tonight or tomorrow. Um, how would you guys feel if I posted an unedited version of this on YouTube? Yay or nay? Because I feel bad doing an unedited version. Cause that's like three hours. Like I'll cut off the first half, like of me just doing like daily stuff. Raw dog it, but you guys, it's like YouTube, you know. But no, I want it on main channel. This is too good for vod channel, you know. <laughs> like this is really good. This deserves to be on main channel. I just don't have time because I'm traveling. But didn't you upskirt peak Marge? Yeah. yeah. Noise. Too good to not post. It was really solid throughout, so you think it's fine unedited? <laughs> Raw dogging! <laughs> Raw dogging is such a Twitch exclusive term, I feel. It's such a funny term. Uh, you don't think unedited is good for the algorithm? Better to go on a VOD channel, but how bad could it be? Uh, it depends on how well I make the thumbnail. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I might end up just like doing like really, uh, really quick cuts. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. Holy shit. There's a ton of you guys in here. I guess you guys really want to see 1.4. Uh, next stream is going to be on Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, we are going to... Depends if, if the Project Sakai event is still happening on Tuesday. We're playing Project Sakai. If it is not happening uh, on Tuesday, then we'll play Star Rail. But if we do end up playing Sakai on 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 on, on Tuesday instead, I'll, I'll do Saturday's uh, HSR stream to make up for it. Um, thank you guys for the awesome stream. That was such a good quest. Like, God, I feel like my heart genuinely just feels so full right now. Like that was, oh, that was so good. Oh, that was so good. All right, let's let's raid. All right, we'll go raid. Uh, we'll raid Amelie. She raided us not too long ago. We'll go. Re we'll go return the favor. All right, you guys. You know the rules. Be kind. Be polite. Be respectful. Oh. For Comic Con. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, I'm going to be at Comic-Con this weekend. I'm only going for one day, though. And then we can just chill the rest of the days uh, with my friends. Uh, if you were, if you were, if you were, if you were subscribed, go ahead and use the one with the cheer emotes. And if you are not subscribed, go ahead and do the ones with the, uh, with the hearts. Uh, I'm trying to copy-paste, man. 
But yeah, be kind, be polite, be respectful. You guys are a direct reflection of me and someone else's community. So, uh, you know, please, please treat uh, children with kindness and whatnot. Um, spam that raid message. I think it's really fun. People spam raid messages. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, no stream on Saturday. Uh, next stream will be Tuesday. Tuesday, in it? Um, don't miss me too much. I'm gonna miss you guys. Every time I miss a stream, I get I'm always I'm always people sad until until we're until we're able to talk again. But thank you guys for for being here the last four hours. This was very 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 fun. And I will see you all in the next one. Go treat Amelie with nice kindness and respect, and uh, keep a lookout for an upload this weekend. Thank you guys. Oh, bye bye. Go join the Discord if you're not already in it, and go follow on YouTube if you're not already sub. We just hit 119,000, 100,000. Uh, 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 subscribers over there. We're also almost at 40,000 here, which is crazy. So thank you guys for that. 